battle for middle -earth. Earth is about to begin. So it begins. to the Zorbazor Battle Games in Middle-Earth livestream. In this series, we cast our gaze back in time to the roots of our beloved Middle-Earth strategy battle game to explore the fortnightly magazine serial Battle Games in Middle-Earth. Each episode, we will delve into a single issue, pouring over a treasure trove of retro gaming, following in-depth painting guides, terrain tutorials, and some crazy battle reports, all with a modern twist so you guys can enjoy them in your games at home. With each installment, we'll also focus on a release of models that accompanied the magazine, following their journey from painting bench to tabletop, and then at the end of every live stream, they'll be randomly assigned to one of our loyal Patreons to continue their days of gaming abroad, spreading the gospel of Zorpazorp. So, in the immortal words of the magazine itself, let battle commence. Good morning everybody, welcome to another Battle Games in Middle Earth live stream and we have got a special, special one today and we're back on the main channel because we are doing scenery. For those of you who don't know, we have a second channel that does these streams all the time and I can say that now because we have been doing them regularly again. Uh, we've got a, a second stream called Zorbazorp Streams. Uh, it's another YouTube channel, it's linked down below and that's where we do pretty fortnightly uh, a big beautiful Battle Games in Middle Earth live stream. We paint up models, we play battle reports, but whenever we do scenery, Scenery or something very special, uh, like what's happening this evening, uh, not this evening, this evening for me, which is in like 14 hours, uh, we do it on the main channel. So today's stream is all about big scenery. I am back working on Dolgal Dua. It's a Sunday. We never stream on Sundays. I've got a six day working week this week, so I thought I'll stream Sunday morning. All the Aussies and the Kiwis and everyone in my part of the world will actually get to watch it a reasonable sort of time. It won't be Monday morning, and it'll be a lovely Saturday evening for all of you Brits and Yanks and everyone else around the world. So welcome. Uh, let me know how everything is going sound-wise because we are in a slightly different setup because I'm over here at the workshop bench. So if I need to be louder or the music needs to be quieter, please let me know. I've got my little chat here on the phone. Um, I'm just noticing on the screen that I forgot to move my key lights. My face is quite dark. So hi, it's just, you know, moody. <laughs> um, it has been a wild morning. How are we going for time? We're actually early. We're 10 minutes early. We're supposed to start at 8. It's 7.50. I was trying to start a whole hour earlier and then my uh, cam link stopped working. Uh, it turns out my camera was turned off. Classic Lockie. And then my whole wire cutter stopped working, so I fixed that. And then I lost my fences, my cutting supports, and I found them. They were sitting just over there. <sighs> and then it turns out this for the last like four days this stream has been set to unlisted, so no one's been seeing it in their feed to like set ad reminders and stuff. Anyway. A fantastic job returning the main streams to the main channel. But it's gonna be awesome. Uh, everything is great here, says uh, the the small bricklayer. In French, I think. Le petit bricoleur. Uh, Oliver Miller says it sounds good. Bobby says it sounds good. Sound is good. Old Chris C. Thank you, dudes. Marky says, get it up, yeah, finally. Uh, good night, everyone, says Frederick. Yes, it's late over there. Uh, fourth Zorpalingus, ride to ruin and huge amounts of XPS, says Chrissy. Yeah, we are cutting some foam. So just so you guys know, I'll do a little announcement. We, we're doing a scenery stream this morning. 
uh, which is your evening, most likely, depending on where you're watching. But tomorrow, Sunday, uh, UK time at 2pm, there is a massive Middle Earth reveal. We don't know exactly what it is, but there's been some teasers. They don't often do stuff this big. Um, there's been like a build-up marketing campaign by Warhammer Community, uh, and it's like a dedicated one-hour show on Games Workshop's Twitch uh, for Middle Earth, which happens very rarely. So, there are big suspicions that something huge is coming. They've openly stated that it isn't Amazon, but something else, uh, tied to the Two Towers, 20th celebration of the Two Towers. So, here on the channel, we're going to be doing a live reaction stream. So instead of watching the boring Twitch, you can watch us watch the Twitch, and I'm going to be joined by uh, Benji from Benji's Hobbies and Ollie from Broadsword Wargaming. We're all going to be hanging out, we're going to start the show half an hour early at 1.30 British time, which is 10.30 Australian time or like just after midnight if you're a Kiwi. Uh, it'll be earlier in the or e evening or early afternoon in America depending on which coast you're on. Uh, and we're going to be doing a whole bunch of speculating and then we're going to be reacting and, and kind of checking it all out. It's going to be very fun. Uh, we'll probably uh, drink copious amounts of whiskey at the same time. It's going to be it's going to be splendid. So uh, come and join us for that. Make sure that stream... I wonder if that stream is set to public. I bet you it's not. I better change that as well so that you guys can all set reminders. It's going to be awesome. Oh, there's a whole bunch of you guys watching this morning. Is the Zorb Zorping... Why am I reading over there? That's way too far away. Uh, is the Zorb Zorping, says Box Fox. Yes, it is. Uh, Sean's watching from Southern California. Welcome, Shawnee. Um, oh, man. Um, MTLJ says, I think it'll be a re-release of the Helm's Deep. Yeah, the old Helm's Deep set. I would be very surprised if that's what it was. That would be absolutely mental. I'm pretty excited. I'm not going to do like a whole, good evening Ashley, how are you going? Uh, Oliver says, how big is it going to be? The biggest ever, of course. Stupidly massive. Um, we are going to, um, yeah, the other stream is still on this end. Thank you, Frederick. Here, enjoy, enjoy my hot wire cutter for a moment. I'm changing that now so that you guys can all see it. And that way, um, that can be fixed. Da, 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 da. And then you guys can all set a reminder now while I'm reminded. While I'm reminded. While I'm here. Da, 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 da. So yeah, we're going to be doing... Um... Being super slow this morning. Uh, oh, though, no, I can fix it. Public. Publish. Beautiful. Okay. That is now live. For some reason, I set the streams to unlisted because I was like, oh, if I set public, it'll go live because I haven't streamed for so long. I've uh, been used to uploading videos. Anyway, you will now be able to see both streams, um, which should be able to build up a bit of an audience. Uh, we have got... Um, hey, Johnny's in! I won't be drinking any whiskey this morning, Johnny, because it's like 8 a.m., but... Um, that would be a bad start to the day, especially after the, the other night we had a, a beautiful Rohan painting army stream and uh, Johnny sent me some beautiful whiskey. Sorry, Toggle Doer nearly fell off the top of the table then. Uh, and, uh, and, you know, I, I had like a glass, woke up the next morning on the floor. Like, oh wow, I'm not 20 anymore. <laughs> it was, it was rough. And then we had to go to SeaWorld that day. Anyway, so, uh, what we're going to be doing here, it's five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> It's not five o'clock here, and I've, I've got like a massive like 18 hour day today. So, um, we're going to be slicing and dicing. Let's have a look at Doggle Doer. Just going to see if I can adjust this microphone up here so you guys can still hear me. And we're going to get a live... Ooh, camera's going up. Alright, so here is uh, Doggle Doer in its current form. Obviously, it's turned to be facing the wall, so you guys can't quite see it. Uh, but this is the big old triangle. Let's see how much... Yeah, I can pick, I've got a bit of range on the cord. So there's the courtyard down there. Uh, there's the sort of that front section with the stairs. Um, I've been working on the dungeon underneath. Um, I'm really, really restricted with where my uh, cord is plugged in, so I can't quite get in there to have a look. But essentially what we're going to be working on today uh, is this tower here, um, which is, uh, you'll see this piece just sits in. And this is where those two, like, that's the corner of the triangle, right, uh, from the Games Workshop kits. And this piece here cuts it off, which is um, a collection of my old Dark Fortress Ruin Resin series, which is no longer produced. Um, it, it was on the market for a very short period of time. Uh, and now it's, um, it's basically like, you know, these are all resin moulds, so I sculpted them, made moulds of them, and then um, I... Um, 
basically cast them in resin, and they're really, it's, it's great, right, because you can just make heaps and heaps and heaps of them. Uh, so it was a good way of getting a bunch of Dogledur, uh, or, or Angmar, or Mordor, or sort of generic evil boards really easily. And it's got bricks, it's got like a little bit of metal, so it, it fits well enough. It's not you know, identical to the movie stuff or anything, but uh, it, it, it's once, especially combined with all of the large brickwork that I've sculpted everywhere, um, it's it's working really nicely, and I think it's having like this lack of homogeneous, homogeneous brickwork is actually really great for the whole evil feeling. Uh, so we're, we've got these big triangle floor tiles that are sculpted from foam, which are close to the GW ones, but they're not mimicking exactly. Obviously we've got standard brickwork here, and now it just makes it feel really interesting. So what we're going to do, one of the big things about Dogal Dua is um, they've... Uh, Oh, Anakin Fleming! Hey, dude! Um, we've got um, the big things about... What the hell was I talking about? Uh, yeah, so there's... Uh, Dogledur's big famous kind of thing is this huge silhouette, right? The skyline of those big, sticky-uppy, jagged towers going high into the sky. And I've captured that a little bit with these plastic bits here, but we need some really big spires to really get that silhouette. So this tower is going to come up... Where's my hand? Is that in shot? Basically, like, well out of the top of frame, right? This is the piece of foam that is going to form the bulk of one side of the tower, and that is going there. Uh, so let's just... get that in like that, and you guys can see how high that's going to be. So that's going to be pretty cool, I think. Now, what did Anakin have to say? Uh, Anakin said, uh, Hey Zorp, love your content. Thanks for the inspiration. I've been binging your Battle Company series recently. Think we'll see Season 2 soon. Thanks. Thanks, Anakin. Um, if, yeah, get in on the Super Chats, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so, in Battle Company Series 2, I think I definitely want to do it because I love it. So, I think when, once I get over to New Zealand, it'll be on the cards. But I think I'm going to do that uh, on the second channel over on Zorpa Zorp Streams. And we might do that as a stream series, uh, which I think could be really fun. So, I have to get my stream studio set up first because obviously Battle Companies is primarily battle reports. Um, so, definitely potential in the future. There's this piece. We now need to make a few more pieces. Um, to kind of ba -ba 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 go around the tower. Um, you see it's, it's quite an interesting shape. Um, we've got... Uh, whoop. We've got this sort of diamond shape that we're gonna be working with. So we're gonna start working on these sides. So I might bring that down here. Uh, let's see if I can get this chuck bouncing up here so I can read. Uh, I love Battle Company, says Frodo. Glad to see more work on this project. Sat watching from the UK painting my new heresy army, inspired by your battle reports. That's awesome, Will. What army are you painting up? What legion? Let's bring this camera back down a little bit. Uh, yes, you, you guys should be able to see nicely there. You can see here there's like a bit of rock molds just in the edge of frame. A bit of foam, so this all eventually needs to be rock molded. I think I'm actually going to cut a passageway through here to the other side. Uh, because the, the plan with this board is basically that... Um, Oh, let's turn that light on. Maybe that will give me a little bit of key. Hey, there we go. That's better. That's why it looks a bit dark. Um, so the plan with this board is eventually it's going to be 12 feet long. 12 by 4. This first piece is 3 by 4. So this is the first quarter of the board. Um, but obviously I'm not going to be able to uh, work on this board once I leave to move to New Zealand in November because this board will have to stay here for probably a few years, I would say. So my goal is I want this piece completely finished before I leave so that Jacques and I can film um, our beautiful battle reports. He has painted up uh, the whole... Uh, Jacques from Battle Companies, as we are just talking about. Uh, he has painted up the whole cast of all the ring rates, the necromancer, all the, um, the uh, white council, uh, the, the elves, the orcs, the wargs, Arzog, the hunter orcs, so that we can do a series of scenarios in this. So uh, it's going to be absolutely gorgeous. Uh, oh, Oliver just asked that question. Will I do battle reports when this is finished? So I'll do, we'll do a series of battle reports once this first quarter is finished, and then once the full board is finished, uh, we'll do like a full Siege of Dol Guldur campaign. But that's probably about three years away. So I imagine it'll be quite a few years before I can afford to ship all of the scenery still in Australia over to New Zealand. So we'll see how we go. So let's start having a look at this. This piece is one I prepared earlier. Looks absolutely fantastic. So what we need to do is make a mounting point for this. So we're joining foam to resin, so we need to have some strength, because it's going to be quite heavy, which means if you knock it, it's going to break. So what I'm going to do is use my drill, and we're going to drill some uh, holes, basically, uh, and create some little locking pins. I'm just going to grab the wooden pegs, because they're over there. Aha! Oh, man. 
crawling underneath the tripod while live on stream. This is like walking underneath the ladder. I can feel the bad luck. Um, put me on the payroll and I'll bring it over, says Mark. You're already going on the payroll. But the Australian payroll, not the New Zealand payroll. Okay. Let's move this stuff out of the way for the time being. Excuse me, it's a hot wipe. That'll get a little bit more work on the bench. So I need a drill bit that matches these wooden pegs. Let's see if I can get this stream window back up. There we go. Much love and respect from the UK. Found your videos recently from the Battle of Kalth. Thank you, Lean Machine Painting. Alright, so I'd say that guy's going to do the job for us nicely. Maybe. We'll see how we go. I head off to New Zealand in a few weeks for a little scouting trip for Larissa and I to go and look at uh, suburbs and stuff. Uh, Swampy Gaming says, Do you plan to do a Pelinor Fields battle report with the Grey Company and the reinforcements from Lebanon and Pelagia? Yeah, definitely. We've got more Pelinor battle reports coming at some point. We've obviously got that massive one that has them all, but now I've got all those new fiefdom troops and once we get the Osgiliath boards happening, and yeah, it's all, it's all going to be exciting. So I'm just going to drill straight down into this resin. The key here is to make sure this is straight, because I need it to stick up so that it goes into the foam on the right angle. Alright, let's have a look at that. Oh, I picked the perfect amount. Uh, yeah, it's pretty straight. No, that's good. The real key is just making sure that this second one is the same bloody angle, otherwise we're going to be in uh, a bit of strife. Let's check that now and see what we think. Oh, pretty good, mate. Yeah, that's good. We'll drill more. How many Skaven do you reckon live under Minas Tirith? Millions. That's why they had... Hang on. Whoa. That's why they had the Rat Catcher's house, right? In the set? Do you guys remember the Rat Catcher's house? I talked about it in some of the uh, Minas Tirith videos. Okay. Look at that. Two sticks that are close enough on the right line. Um, I, th I think those holes need to be deeper, though. Let's get that, that mount a little bit. A little bit stronger. Polyurethane resin, man. Such a good material. It's just like with a good with a good blade rotating blade, it's like soft as butter to drill through or to um, cut with a, a rotating saw or something. But it's super super durable to like impact. It's great. Um, if you want them perfect, you should get a pillar drill. I don't even know what a pillar drill is. Sounds cool. Oh, you mean like yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, pillar drills are great. Okay. So now, I need to get these to sort of go in there in the right spot. So, uh, what we're going to do, to start with, is I'm just going to line this up. So that it sits in the middle. And then I'm going to just depress into the base, just so I've got little marks. Is that in enough information? Yeah, that would be good. Now, here, here's, here's something I haven't really thought about. There and there will be the things. So we want it to go like that. So, I wonder if I can drill the foam. I, I wouldn't think so. How do we, how do we get our, our holes in the bottom of the foam? I don't think I've ever tried this. Uh, no, that, that is not working. So what we'll do with these is my traditional method, which is we will turn them into massive spikes. And they don't probably have to be quite as tall as they were either. Really, really sharp spikes with a long taper. I'm 
trimmed them down just a tad. There we go. Let's get these in. Boop. Boop. I'm going a little closer now. Is that the black? Is that any good? moment of truth. What we might do is actually just lay this down flat. That way I can, uh, is that even gonna, uh, it's, it sort of works. So this will all be glued as well, obviously. I'm not gonna make it removable. I did, I did think for like five seconds about it, but it's too hard. All right, how do I like that angle for the wall? Yeah, that looks pretty good. The key is just making sure that these spikes don't like pierce out the side. Oh, like, like this. See how I'm getting some pinching here? There's a hole being caused, so I'm going to pull that out. And we're going to try and work on these holes individually. Some twisting. Looks like one side's being pretty cooperative. Yep, that side looks awesome. It's this side that's the problem. I'm going to re-sharpen this little spike. Mark says, I have escaped girls' night so I can hang out. However, Zorp has to keep me awake so I can pop out and keep them later. Yes. No falling asleep designated driver, Mark. Alright, a little spiky point there. Let's see if we can get that to work a bit better this time. I'm going to try something which I don't normally advise. Brute force. Look what's happening. It's getting like this weird double pinch effect. Anyway, I'll just fix that with filler or carpet out. It's no big deal. Happy to see more dog will do a minus morgul when. One day, but uh, let me get to New Zealand first. Alright. Now we have this, which is pretty good, really. If you guys have a look, it's not perfectly straight, but it, it gets the job done. It gets the job done. And we'll be able to kind of pull the taper in a little bit here. I'll come back out to wide now. Uh, e even at wide. Oh, wait, that's that's not wide. That's the opposite of wide. There we go. So I just bring it a little closer to the camera. So that's how tall our little tower is going to be. That looks fantastic. First thing we're going to do now is make our next little piece, which is going to... Let's, let's go this way. Boom. Is that what I want to do? What do I want to do this way? This way next. Yeah, this way next. Let's go this way. Alright. So, what I'm going to do is grab a pencil and mark off the bottom, and then we'll slice it off with the whole icon. Gondol and after Minas Tirith, says J-Mac. <laughs> J-Mac just wants to send me Balrogs and Glorfindels. And Gothmogs. Definitely Gondolin one day, but I'll wait and see in case they decide to touch on it with Amazon. Oh, what's happening here? Oh, a new channel member! Look at this! It's Mikey! Hey dude, how you going? Mr. Buck and Duck himself. Where's my, uh... I think you might be channel member number three. For those of you who are curious, the channel membership is exactly the same as the Patreon. Um, so you get access to the Battle Games of Middle Earth live stream giveaways, you get the, um, you get the Discord if you pick the right tier and all that stuff. The rewards are exactly the same, it's just I know some people don't, like, would rather do it through YouTube than through Patreon. But also if you do it through YouTube, you do get, like, a little badge next to your name in the live streams, which obviously Patreon can't do, because the channel memberships are native inside YouTube. Um, and the, um, I think you also get access to, like, GIFs and emojis in the chat. Um, but we'll see. Angmar speed build for the win. Thank you, Babak. Glad you like it. If you're scouting the Wellington Burbs, hit me up. Happy to advise, says Will. Thanks, dude. Haven't been, uh... Yeah, we're definitely going South Island. We know that much. Um, that's our big, our big love. 
Uh, all right, let me clean this bench up so I'm not breathing in resin fumes. Where's my brush gone? There she is. Oh man, I cannot wait to have a real studio. This is this is a farce. So this guy we want we've cut we're gonna cut this guy down. So let's grab this. Hot wire time. That'll be where we're going for him. Perfect. Apologies if I'm a little nasally today. Um, <laughs> Michael says just jo just saw the join button and couldn't resist pressing it. Oh, someone's coming in. Oh, has everyone got their Middle Earth live stream bingo? We have one cup of tea delivered by Larissa, one banana delivered by Larissa. That is three bingo squares. Tick them off, folks. How is three? Because it's Larissa breaking in, banana, and cup of tea. It's mm. three. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> you sound awesome. Yes, yes. The, the, the children are infected with the plague. Yes. We're all infected today. It's just a cold. Yes, it is just a cold, so I don't have to put any N95 masks on the microphone. We had COVID like two weeks ago, so surely it's not. Four? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Isn't it meant to be like a four-week immunity period? Man, better not be. Oh, please no. Not again. Mmm. J-Mac says, I may need my Balrogs for the Battle of Unnumbered Tears. Oh, Odie Odie's in! Sorry, I missed some... I missed a hot... Yeah, the chat's going so fast. Mike, you were saying, um, I just saw the join button and couldn't resist pressing it. Let's see if we can get a spur on. Let's see if we can get some more channel members. I've never done, like, a stream on the main platform where channel members are a thing before. Come on, get on here. Join, join the family. Be a member. Um, Mikey says, um, I hope you pop up to Auckland for a trip. We have tall buildings. Where else in the YouTube hobby space do you get to watch your favourite YouTuber eating a banana? It's high quality content. Alright. Epic build in process, says Decato. I need to give my assembly of my the assembly of my kit another try. They can be a bit tricky, but once you get your head around them, they're pretty amazing. I, I really love them. Glenn Corbet's in, he says, um, uh, good to have a stream on a Sunday. He says, why all the hate on the new series? I feel like most people aren't looking for it, looking forward to it. Um, I have no idea. So, um, I have not seen Amazon anything. I haven't seen any trailers, any images, any nothing. Because what I wanted to do was wait until basically about now and then watch it all together in like a reaction video for you guys and then give you like my predictions on what I think GW are going to do if they picked up the series. Um, so, which I don't think they have currently. No, I think they'll wait till the end of the first season, which I've talked about before in um, the uh, Is Middle Earth Warhammer Dead video. But, uh, so I think let, maybe next week or the week after I'll do a little video about Amazon where I finally sit down and like get excited about it. Because it comes out, it comes out the 2nd of September while I'm on holiday in New Zealand. It's so frustrating. I might call them and ask them to delay it a bit. Uh, <laughs> uh, Kyle says, what brand of foam are you using? This is the old yellow foam from now from Bunnings here in Australia, which is no longer available. Yay. Um... Odie Odie is in. He says, I've been gaming all day with my mates, absolutely smashed on beer, just got home from the pub, had a blast paying battle companies and Adeptus Titanic S. I hope that was a linked campaign and that uh, the uh, Middle Earth battle companies were running around the feet of the Titans. Uh, we'll see. Just saw you get a cup of tea, so popped off to put the kettle on. Good work, Ollie. Uh, Will T says, they aren't doing anything with the Amazon series. They said they aren't doing anything now, but we'll wait and see. They just said that the announcement tonight isn't to do with Amazon, it's to do with the Two Towers pro um, content. I would say, if anything, it'll be after the first season. Alright, let's get this cut. Alright. Oh, it's good. Just gonna tighten up this wire. It's a bit, it's a bit wibbly wobbly.
I'm always trying to be really careful when I'm on stream. Usually I go a bit wilder with my hot wire cutter. But the last thing I want to do is have to try and fix a wire live on stream. Because inevitably it'll be the time it takes me 20 years to do. Hey, look. Yes? Sorry. Really important question. Okay. How do you construct the cheese and Vegemite toast? What? Cheese, cheese and Vegemite toast? Hazel. I don't know. You said you made a point you really enjoyed it the other day. I so just made normal cheese yeah. to veg on my toes and put cheese on it. Did you talk about how I cut it in the shapes? No, no, no. I just needed to, like, is it is it a sandwich or is it just a piece of toast with some cheese on the It's just it? toast with cheese slices on it. Okay. There's well, nothing special about it. Okay. Can also, I have some? That sounds amazing. Let's see if I get around to that. Okay. Um, you are using a hot wire cutter. You need to open a I wore cutter. my mask. You need to open <sighs> Okay, I'll open the window. Thank you. Sound quality is not worth your health. <clears throat> Look, there you go. It's open a foot. Uh, I'm not opening it more than that. The, the blinds will blow around. I'm getting in okay, trouble, everyone. The people on the screen. Uh, hang on, where's the microphone? No. <laughs> Lyrics has <laughs> taken over the stream. Okay. Hello. Um, would you prefer Loki to be able to make more streams because he is in fact alive, <laughs> or would you like the? Uh, the quality of the lighting to be, you know, minorly better. Just, just, just a question. Minorly better. <gasps> right, okay. Everyone said they want better lighting. <laughs> there we go, I've been schooled. Safety first. I have my window open. It's actually really hot in here, so that was a good idea anyway. The Queen has spoken, says Daystro. Same, yeah, 100%. Um... Oh, Marky Tribe! He's a channel member as well. You're already a Patreon. What are you doing? Now he's a, he, now he's he's joined Zorptron class. He just wants a little badge next to his name. Fair, fair. They are good little badges, and also it helps me keep track of everything. It helps me see people when they have the little badges. Um, sounds like a pretty big emergency. <laughs> I get the same, says Caleb. Safety first. Safety first. Yeah, Maddie's right. Uh, please live longer, says Sword to the Light. She is right. Okay, look, there. To uh, listen to the wife, so if she's knows. I think it's a pretty, uh, pretty unanimous. Happy wife, happy life. <laughs> Alive sounds good, but that lighting though. <laughs> um, quality opening windows in Australia lets the lets in the spiders and the snakes. It's very true. I was just trying to keep myself safe. <laughs> Mark says I'm cancelling that Patreon trash now. <laughs> he wants the little badge. He wants the channel membership. I don't mind which one you use. It's all the same to me. But you're welcome to uh, to swap. All right. So now we've got a wall. Let's have a look at how that worked. Oh, actually, I'll just bring this down rather than moving the camera every five seconds. So that's looking pretty good there. Uh, we're gonna need to trim. Uh, oh, I'll get to show you guys the angle cutter. So we need to cut this down a tiny bit, I think. Um, yes, yes we do. Just the ever so slightest, tiniest of bits. Because we don't want to go too hard, because this piece actually isn't long enough. Is this piece longer by any chance? Uh, frustrating. Okay, I've cut that slightly too short, but that's fine. So now what I'm going to do, is I'm going to grab my angle cutting fence, and another beautiful shifting lens tool. These MDF guides are, like, essential. If you buy a Proxen, these are basically... You, you, you buy this. Uh, okay. They are so good. And also, uh, Gerard's made. Uh, alright. So, I'm gonna click this in here. And all I wanna do... I want that to be that way, so I need to lose just the tiniest bit off that corner. Uh, that's too much. So you can change the angle of like how much you want to take off. I literally want to take off like barely anything. But this way it's like exceedingly consistent. Yep, that's about as much as I want to take off. I'm taking off 19 degrees. 19 degrees worth of foam. It is not very much. Just enough to give me that little angle so the pieces join nicely. Maybe I'll do like 21 actually. No, 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 I'm sticking to it. What have I got? I got, yeah, it's about 19 or 18 or something like that. Alright, let's have a look. Mask back on. Oh, here we go. Marky says, badge me up, baby. Oh, wow, 200 viewers. Hey, guys. 
the uh, the number of viewers does not update on my phone, but it updates on my computer. Sorry, you guys can't really see this, but I just need to get this cut right. Beautiful. And if we have a look here, just got a nice little angle now. So that should help that join. Let's have a look and see if that was enough. I have a sneaking suspicion that it wasn't enough now that I look at it, but let's have a look. Oh, it's perfect! It's perfect! It's not perfect. It's close to perfect. Uh, oh, I can fill it. I can make it work with... No, I think we're good. It's at that point where it's like 10% not right, but if I try to correct it, I'll make it 20% worse the other direction. So instead, I'll try, I won't correct it with cutting, I'll correct it with adjusting. So that is going to go there. You know what? Let's just keep mounting these as we move around. So I might just put in the next piece of timber now. So let's grab our drill again. I might eat my banana first so I don't put resin all over it. Um, is that mask you use for after hours content? It is quite industrious. Love the content. Cannot wait to see the finished terrain. Thank you, mate. From the Lord of the Rings SBG team. Probably not THE Lord of the Rings SBG team. Well, they call they call themselves the Middle Earth SBG team now. Specialist Games Team 2. Um, they'll always be Team 1 to me. Resin makes the best seasoning, says Matty Dishnar. <laughs> oh, Discord's exploding. The Patreons have something to say. They are very excited. They're all joining in the chat. Welcome to everyone who's watching live. Um, adds a nice zing. Um, I didn't know this was on until I saw a new notification. Uh, and I was like, yay, another upload. Yeah, so Lockie, Lockie the Fool, uh, forgot to have the um, scheduled streams as public. So these have been scheduled for like a week or four, four days or something. Um, so that everyone could add little, you know, add a reminder, add a reminder. No, Lockie left them unlisted like an idiot. That's okay. The stream GW forgot. The stream GW abandoned. That's a good title. Alright. Is my banana somewhere safe? Zorbazorp Mournable have worked out I'm streaming. <laughs> They're working out what controversial things they can say in the chat. Andy, post that, please. <laughs> I happened to get the notification, got so lucky. I know, right? They, it ne half the time it never sends notifications. But it works today for some of us, that's good. Alright, let's get this down. We're only going too far here. Look at that, I'm just going to drop this straight into the bin. Efficient. Oh, that can go in the bin too, get out of here. Uh, we need uh, another timber peg. So essentially, what I'm doing today... Oh, look at this, that is the most atrocious angle I've ever seen. It's bad this way, but luckily, it's very straight this way, so that's all that matters. Obviously, it's better when the other way is good too, because it's easier to stick in, but... Um... <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Mark says, bye bye, Patreon. Hello, more expensive YouTube with a cool badge. I think they should be the same price. I hope they are. They're meant to be the same price. Unless Mark moved up a tier. There we go. That is too long of a spike, I think. Uh, drill all holes at once, you only need to clean one at a time. Yeah, that's a good, a good suggestion. But then I would, uh... Would, would rob you guys of all the, uh, intermittent cleaning. Oh wow, Nate's watching from Malaysia. Hello, Nate. Pretty cool. 
Don't think I get many Malaysian viewers. Alright, let's see if I can line this up. So now what I'm going to do is get that smack bang in the middle and I'm just going to slide this down like this. Now, is this going to be a problem for me? Because that's where that hole is going to go, which means it's going to be in the complete wrong spot. And this is why the angle is a pain. So I'm actually going to have to move that over so that it's... Oh, that, even that's not right, mate. Hey, guys, I'm just doing some... Uh, complex maneuvering here. Maybe I should just drill a new hole. No, I'm going to see if I can make this one work. So, I'm just going to insert this myself and see if I've got that angle right. Is that angle going to be correct? Uh, it's not quite that fierce, but that's pretty close. Okay. Uh-oh, uh-oh. It's quite easy to correct. Uh, yes, okay, we're safe. I really thought I'd ripped at them, but we're okay. Now we'll slide this in. Okay, so that, that's looking like that's going to work. Um, I might just make the hole a little deeper. So that we've got that full amount going in. Try that again. Perfect. Alright, that is reasonably good. We're getting a towel that's continuing up quite nicely. Obviously, I'm not gluing these in. Oh, hello! Uh, Jose is watching from Peru. He sent a super chat and he says, uh, Excellent work, greetings from Peru. Jose, Louis. Viva Vicenni... Vi oh wow, this is an incredible name. Villa Vicencio. That's incredible. Gorgeous name, Jose. Love it. Um, thank you so much for the super chat, mate. Awesome to have your support. Um, oh, there you go, Marky. Oh, that's odd. Bo says, what is this new meta? I just sat down to start editing your next video as I listen to you talk shit live. <laughs> what are we working on? That'll be the next Imperial Palace video, won't it, Bo? Alright, so that is two sides of our tower done. Now, you might think, whoa, this is getting pretty close to done. This bit's ruined here. We'll just do a bit of that, do a bit of that. But that's not what I'm thinking. What I'm thinking is that this comes back up like this and this is a hole but the tower is like complete again and then broken up the top because god forbid anything ever be easy so what we'll do is we'll instead continue around to this side uh, and we'll get this piece working so this little bit is actually even though it's way too short what we'll do is we'll just use that for this side um, and then uh, and then just put a full piece there so what I'm gonna do instead is I'm going to take the edge off of that. Let's get you out of the way, Mr. Tower. Oh, I'm trashing the uh, main part of the dog. We'll do it up here. So is that is that what I want? No, 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 no. It's that way. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll shape it up so you guys can see this time. And it needs to be even more exaggerated than the last one was. It's a slightly tighter angle. Uh, my gut says more. My gut says more. I didn't do enough last time, and I don't want to get it wrong this time. That's, that barely did anything. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, let's get the mask on. Uh, <laughs> Mark says, Emma says hi. Hi Emma, how you doing? Hope you guys are well up there. Ooh, Sworn to Light says, I'm going to have a buried relic on my 40k desert board. Do you all think I should have a Roman-style pantheon or an oversized dino skeleton? The dino's good. Harry Bates is in! Love myself a Roman pantheon, though. Hey, Harry. Uh, Burdergate, yeah, good choice. How long is this going to go for, says uh, Oliver. Well, we'll see We'll see how much energy you have. But basically, I'm, I'm sculpting all day. 
So until we get to a point that's too difficult for me to stream, or I get too tired, or I need to go out to grab supplies. So at least another two or three hours. Uh, it's only 8.30 now, so I'll probably go, I would say at least two hours. We'll see if la on stream we can get this tower completely finished. That's a big ask, but we'll see how we go. Because um, I, I work quite fast while I'm streaming. I, I get distracted by talking to you guys. But, um, oh, uh, LL is ya in Spanish, says Mark. Uh, just tuned in from the UK, says War Mini Painting. Oh, nice work. Chris did some uh, silicon molds and casting for the first time today. Very, very cool. Alright, let's get this cut. <laughs> <laughs> Harry says, stream until the Warhammer stream tonight. You won't. Yeah, that's right, I won't. I've got another three, like, two hour stream tonight as well. Soon I'll be leaving YouTube for Twitch. That that won't happen. <laughs> well, there you go. Kept it together. Let's get this bad boy in here. Yeah, that's looking good. Let's mount us another spike. Now, do I need to trim down this edge first? Oh, actually, you know what I need to do? I need to bevel a little bit off this edge so it's ready to receive the next piece. So let's take a little bit off there. Probably not that much. Not as much as we just took off that edge. Let's try this. Yeah, okay. Oh, mask back on. Mask on. Mask off. More battle companies, please, says KS. Make another hole. Fire the hole. Retro Nerd Girl says, This is cool. My first time catching one of your streams. I love miniature builds. Thank you for joining us. Uh, the jigs are from Shifting Lands uh, by Gerard Boom. They're amazing. Buy them. They are worth every penny. Yeah, that's fair. It's always about juggling priorities in the hobby, isn't it? If you, it's like, if you, do I want to get jigs to cut more foam, or do I want to get models to put on the foam? It's the eternal struggle of the hobbyist. Just got to work out what the highest priority for you is. Alright, that looks good. Again, that might have been a little too much, but, uh, whatever. Alright, let's get another hole happening. This is going quite quickly. I like having the solid base to work up to. Oh, whoops, I'm not checking my... I think that's good, I think it's good. Alright, that'll do us nicely. We'll have to leave now. Good luck, Lockie. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Gold5. <laughs> exactly. It's a ruined tower. You can fix it later with debris. Couldn't agree more. That's why building ruins is the greatest. You just whack stuff together and fix it in post, as we used to say in film. Although, intensely, sardonically. Andy, I'm disappointed not to have received that comment. Get it together. <laughs> Virtual Folger says, got some old friends coming over tomorrow. I'm sure they won't mind if I catch your stream instead of talking with them. Thanks, Ollie. See you next time, dude. 
Sam says do a flip. There you go. Yeah, let's actually cut. I'm just going to sharpen this thing off camera so I can do it straight into the bin. Rather than littering the workspace again. This is going to be an awful tower to put in the post. <clears throat> I'll probably end up smashing it up into pieces and gluing it back together. It's a ruin after all. Alright, that looks like a very nicely cut piece in the end. Which way did this go? Yeah, that's right. I want that to be nice and centered. That feels pretty good. Maybe a little bit. Oh, wait, is that is that going into the middle? No, it's not. We'll go that way a bit more. All right, down we go. Boom! Look at that. With a bit of tacking up the top, that looks fantastic. So yeah, obviously this will all get sort of tacked in and taped up and stuff. That's looking primo! Now we need to work out what we're doing here on the other side. Now can we get extra clever? I think we can. So... I do have more resin pieces at our disposal, potentially. I wonder if I can flip upside down another resin piece. Let me just see if I can grab some offcuts. Are there any over there? No, I don't think so. Um, what I have here is a whole tub of buildings that are like made with these components. This is a nice piece. Um, I might use that down the bottom actually, that's really great, but we don't need that right now. Uh, here we go. Oh, but they've got the archway of course, don't they? So even if I, if I do something, I was thinking of something like this, where I just make a mirror image, but then they've got this weird archway, uh, which, which will then be upside down, which of course doesn't make any sense. Just as a side note, why on earth didn't I use this piece here, because then the stairs were already done. That's what I should have done. Maybe I should put this... I don't know, is there some way I can use this to get these stairs in that are already nicely built? That's okay, I've got, I can use these on plenty of other parts of the build. Um, let's keep looking, let's keep looking. Uh, what other parts are smashed up? None of those buildings are smashed up yet. I swear I, swear I had more buildings that I already pulled apart. Where are the rest of these pieces? Or maybe that's all of them. No, they'd be in that box. Okay, let me get the other box of offcuts. We can have a little look. Okay. Uh, there's more archways and stuff here, but that is for another part down the bottom. Here we go. There's a there's a ruined building. So I could do something like that, and then fill in the the gap. That's the premise, right, of what we're trying to create, anyway. Oh, here we go. That's useful. I could I could just stick that there onto a joining piece, but I think I I think I wanted to loop back more aggressively than that. What about here, though? Huh, that does go there quite nicely. Do I have another flipped over piece? Huh. And then all the other bits in here aren't big pieces. Okay. I don't think any of that is going to work. I think it's going to be easier to just sculpt new stuff. This piece is tempting, but I think I need this to, like, come back over. Unless I, like, continue around to that corner a little bit. South Island somewhere is essentially the long, the, the short answer. Uh, 
Andy says, damn it YouTube, why didn't you tell me Lockie was on? Silly YouTube. It has, it does betray us at times. So I could drop saw part of this off. Of course the drop saw's out there, but we could make that work. But you can sort of capture the effect, right? Look out, that's going to be really, really nice. You guys might not be able to see it. And I might come in closer. But that's basically the vibe that we're going for, is this sort of um, in and out, kind of broken, and then this loops back and closes up like a hole. So imagine that this is actually like, sort of going like that, and then these reconnect. I think that looks really good, but I think we I think we'll do it out of foam. I think it's going to be more effective out of foam. Got another piece here. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It really frames the archway. Not to mention it's easier for us to get in and around. The other thing we need to remember is that I want to put stairs in here so that we can have like maybe one little platform and a window or something. Um, I just make everything so complicated. I don't really have time uh, this week to get all that done, but I, I really want to. So that that would be like a, a potential useful piece. Um, or maybe that... Ah, th that this should go on this side. To join to that. Because that's actually that's actually the right angle, so that's amazing. So that can go there. Uh, and then this will just be like rubbled. See, I'll do this so you guys can see, sorry. Oh, why did I move my key light? While I'm remembering. Alright, let's just plug this in here. Hopefully that's a little bit easier for you guys to see. Might be too bright, so I'll bring it down a little. And I'll uh, stop down the camera. How's that? That looks a little nicer. It can be hard to get the uh, exposure right when you're dealing with all these bright white reflective resins. Michael says, and here I am struggling to put together the dog will do a plastic set. I reckon that's easier than doing this sometimes, but also harder. So much harder. The freedom of just bashing about in foam is pretty great. So I do like this. I do like this a lot. Um, it's a nice right angle. So let's go like that. We'll have a little ruin there, so it'll be like... Uh, so that'll join, this'll all be ruined, ruined, ruined. This'll come back and be... Oh, maybe maybe what we will do is... Um, where's that little piece gone? Maybe we will add this in here. To help sell that. Yeah, alright, now we're cooking with gas. So that, I think, doesn't need a physical bracing. That can just be done. So th that's this whole side finished. Now what I need... Oh, you know what? I will make a physical bracing, because then it's going to be easier to mount the other side. Um, now I need... So let's just give this a little small... a small mounting point here. Oh, got to keep my thumbs on. Hey, no, no OH&S regulations in Mirkwood, says Colin. Hey, Greg! How you going, dude? Don't worry, the stream will, um, stay up if you want to watch it later on. But enjoy your gaming at the club, mate. <laughs> I'm being blackmailed in my Mournival chat. <laughs> Alright. Adam, it's dangerous for you to make those threats while I still have several collaborations hanging over you that I could cancel at any moment. <laughs> so keep those, uh, keep those trump cards until I say no to doing something. Then, then you can play that. Alright, where's my sticks? We need more sticks. Sticks for the stick god. Oh, focus. I don't think focus is out. Let me know. Let me know if there's a focus issue. It could be your buffering 
uh, crabby. I'm just uh, trimming down this stick again off camera straight into the bin. Wait for a sec, guys. I must say, it's really, um, really, I really enjoy doing this where I sort of mock everything up first, tack it all together before the carving begins. It's going to be a really nice sort of uh, process. Uh, it's quite rewarding because you get to sort of have a bit of that completionist feeling of seeing the structure before the, um, before doing the hours and hours and hours of labor to get all the carving done. Okay, so that's looking good. I'm just going to pull this guy up so I can uh, get a bit of balance on this. All right. Oh, there we go. We got betrayed at the end. Because I took this piece out, this ended up sliding completely over. Cheeky bastard. Very cheeky. Very cheeky. Uh... To see if I can reroute that at all. I was most cheeky, Mr. Foam. Let's get this guy back in. Let's see if I can fix that. There one I was. What's happening here? Yeah, okay. He's in his little spot. Look at that! You cheeky sword! Uh-oh, uh-oh, I'm, I'm off the rails now. Just thrusting bits of foam in anywhere. There we go, okay. So, then that, that goes there. Uh, have we got that pencil floating around? I had a pencil earlier, didn't I? Yep. So then this is going to become like... Sort of something like this, which is just all ruins. And this is also going to become this kind of weird, thin, ruiny bit. And then this will drop in here. Yeah, that'll be cool. That'll be really, really cool. Cool. So that's what's happening there. Let's actually cut that down. Oh, unless we want to go this way. Do we want to go that way? No, that looks stupid. Stupid! Um, what I might do is move my chat over here, because I've been blocked by the tower. Um, we're not sure yet, Sam, is the is the short answer. Uh, you know, yeah, there's... It could, could be Nelson, could be... Could be Christchurch. I don't think we'll go as far as uh, south as Dunedin. It's so cold. But we're not sure for the time being. We got to, we're just going to find somewhere to rent while we save up for our house deposit, and then we can work out where we want to buy once we're there. All right, so that's that's where that's going to go. There you go. I can actually get that sitting in there now. All hail recycling. That looks good. Uh, yeah, this is really coming together. Omaru is very nice, says Sam. Yeah, Omaru is one of our uh, our spots to check out. Um, no, I think uh, look, look, the Hobbit was the switch. To the Hobbit was definitely good. The system was dying. Uh, we, GW probably spent a bit more money than they should have. There's uh, some really, if, if you want to kind of find out about that whole period, about how it sort of unfolded. Oh, I'm still in close up, sorry guys. Um, go and check out Harry's video uh, from Battle Games Middle Earth where he interviews Rick Priestley, uh, who talks to that sort of period of the company a little bit. It's really fascinating. Uh, but in the end, I'm, I'm glad it's happened. <clears throat> Reese cycling? Is he environmentally conscious? <laughs> Sorry, I've got a, um, a cold as of yesterday. My children have infected me, so I'm a little bit nasally. Mm. 
What sort of material do you plan to make this appear? What kind of material do you plan to make this appear? Uh... As in, like, how much planning do I do for the builds? That's some dad level tea there. Strong tea, man. Strong tea. Microforge minis! What's this? A stream I can actually watch? Hey, LB, how we doing, man? Watch with my two-year-old son as I teach him how to roll dice. Excellent stuff. Eh. Someone has entered the chat, and I wonder who it could possibly be. And he says, Lockie, at what point will you embrace our lord and saviour? And then he names some game that no one plays and no one's heard of. I think it's called... Ma Ma Marvel? Marvel Crisis? Crap? Protocol? <laughs> I will never... Im oh, maybe. Who knows? Never say never. Never say never. I might do one video just for you, Andy. <laughs> Don't hold me to that. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> oh, when you sit down in a build, do you know the colour blends you want to use on the rocks, or just does it just speak to you? Gotcha. Good question. Um... I have a guy, I, it, usually I'm matching something that exists, um, so uh, it, it, that's, usually I have reference, so I, I do a bit of planning, because um, it all it depends on how you're going to base tone it, um, also there's obviously like brickwork is done differently to like normal rock face, rock facing or use lots of leopard spotting, which is really great because you can experiment and build it up as you're going, um, and you can do the same with um, thing over it, the way I paint most stonework now is just like spray it white or light grey and then oil wash it. Or so prime it whatever colour you want it to be close to be and then just apply oil oil washes. I used to do a lot more work. Now it just I just get it done faster and it seems to end, end up looking even better anyway. Good Smeagol says yes the dog will do a build resumes. Now Good Smeagol should clearly become a channel member because there are Smeagol gifts that can be used in chat. <laughs> Okay, let's get our final piece of foam. We need something to connect to here. We need like a little piece that goes chicka 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 chicka. We need it to make that exact sound. Uh, and then we need it to join there to a solar wall. Then it's going to go chicka 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 up to there. So it's actually a pretty massive piece of foam that sort of sort of does that. Gives us our nice little hole here. Gives us our nice hole there. And then we can carve all the top of the silhouette. And then do all the stonework. And then glue it all together. And then do all the trimming and fascias. Maybe do some stairs. Maybe do a platform. Maybe do an archway. So, lots to do. Um, <laughs> time to spare Marvel Prices Critical Request. Andy, you'll have to make like all these different sock accounts. Hey, look, Mark's using them. There's the little Smeagol gifts. <laughs> That's them. I never realised the uh, the necromancer's lair was so musical. <laughs> chicka 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 slim shady says Buffa. <laughs> all right, um, I need some foam. Let's all get some foam ah! today. All right, so now the problem, of course, is I need th foam that's like a centimetre thick, and the foam comes ba -ba -ba -ba, like that, which is uh, a problem. So we're gonna have to slice and dice that down. Um, I did have all of this gorgeous, appropriately sized foam pre-cut, and then some idiot used it on a different build. Spoilers, the idiot was me. So. How big do I need this to be? Because it's, okay, okay. Alright, 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 alright. I'm on it, I'm on it. Okay. So let's get a, a little... I've got a ruler floating about here somewhere. Here we go. So it needs to go... Oh, damn it! It's got to be like 20 centimeters wide to get from both parts. That's a problem because I, I can only cut stuff down as high as my hot wire cutter, which is 14 centimeters. So I'm just going to have to trim down two sheets and then I am going to have to... Um... Oh, unless I make it in 14 centimeter high increments like this. Yes, that's what I should do. Okay, so let's just trim down 14 mil, uh, 14 centimeters sheeting and I'll cut it down for the big thing. Okay, you guys probably have no idea what any of those words were, and that's fine. You're, you're gonna, you're gonna understand in a moment. Alright, I'm swapping out from my angle cutting fence to my big fence. What I'm gonna do now is trim down... Would that be wide enough? Yeah, that'd be wide enough, wouldn't it? So, I'm gonna trim down this piece. 
into a length that is high enough to slide under there. So, I know that it needs to be... Is this at full tension? Is that off? Yes. Yeah, that's a pretty good tension. So, 14 centimetres. That's how uh, tall this is allowed to be. So I'll use my fence to take it to 14. Uh, when I get to the back... Oh, four, sorry, chat, I've lost you there. Still 200 folks watching. Now let's have a look at this business. 200 active viewers. How many likes? Wow. Smashing it. Hundred and forty likes guys, and we've got two hundred concurrent viewers on right now. And considering there's been a whole bunch of people already watching, let's let's get that like button smashing. See if we can get the likes higher than the concurrent viewers. It's a nice feeling that. Smash it! Smash it. For every like, I'll cut this piece of foam a centimetre, which is a thing I was definitely not going to already do and isn't essential to the continuation of the build. But without the likes, it's not happening. Let's see, I love doing this. It's fun to see if it even goes up. Hey, it went up! Hey! Shock horror, call to actions are actually useful. Thank you guys, that does help. More! It's still lower! It's still lower! All right, let's get this piece of foam cut. Yep, I'm shaming you. Sorry, Poppy. Okay, let's get this cut. I'm gonna come towards camera just to mix things up. That is definitely not tight enough. We don't want too much. When you have slack in this wire, it goes all wibbly wobbly. <laughs> Well, I can't remember the lyrics, Harry. Oh. Da, 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 da. What the hell are the lyrics? Um. Mighty Grimode fought and fell. Um, I can, Harry. What, why I need to look up the lyrics? <laughs> Any trees growing out of the stone anywhere? Man, the super chats are coming in fast now. For every super chat, Harry says, I have to sing the Grimbold song as I build. Deal. <laughs> Um, Dementia says, uh, are any trees growing out of the stone? Oh, good question. We'll get to that in a sec. I'll show you what I've got planned for that. Very good question. Dementia, let me cut this, um, little sequence. So now I've cut this down, right? It's gonna, it should, ideally. Oh, shite, that's still on. Whoa. Uh, now it sort of was supposed to almost fit down, but it's too high. No! Aha, when it's turned on, it fits, because when the wire heats up, it expands, uh, so it goes underneath. So let me just, um, now what we do is we slide this underneath, and we cut it in half, and we get thin sheeting that's tall enough, and that is going to give us some sheeting to go up, 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 up the stairs we go, until we get to the archway. Let me cut that, and then I'll do the super chat requests. <laughs> Alright, we'll set this to about the halfway mark. Move this on a little bit. Let's make sure, is that sort of halfway? I'll do it while it's off. Yep, that's good. Alright, slice it and dice it. Nice and slow. The last thing we want to do is break the wire in the middle of a panel cut. It looks so bad. And it's so hard to fix. But it's not, it's just annoying. Ah. Fel Feldo says, can't wait for your one-to-one -one scale Battletech terrain series. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Good job, Harry. Good job. You're like a vampire, says Buffer. Uh, if that's referring to my pale skin colour, then yes indeed. 
Otherwise, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Alright, uh, so, super chat requests. That had definitely hit the crazy scale, says Feldo. Yes. Yes, Felix, it would. <laughs> the stupidly massive scale would be off the charts. Let's see if this works. Bada bing, bada boom. There you go. And that is how we will do that. Now you can see it's a bit liney there, so we'll flip that to the inside. Alright, so now we need to line this up and cut it down. Oh, let's talk about trees. Let's talk about trees, baby. So, um... Dementia asked the question, um... Are trees growing out of the stone anywhere? So, in the GW Plastic Kits, you get heaps and heaps of these little vines. Uh, so we're going to have um, heaps of those. But basically what I'm going to do is add all of these at the end. So I'm getting all of the stonework constructed, and then I'm going to paint all of that. And then I'll go and glue all the vines on and paint, and paint all the vines. Oh, I'm just like yeeting them all over the place. I'll probably like um, pre-spray them and uh, like do them in a sub-assembly. So there's those, and I've, I've got like 30 kits or something, right? So each one of those, I think you get two of these frames. These are just trimmed off. Uh, there's just like, oh, maybe I'll put all the skulls on. I don't know. There's a lot to do. There's a lot to do. Um, so I've got a lot of those. A lot, a lot, a lot of those. And then you also get, I think it's one dead tree per kit. Uh, you get heaps of these statues too, which I'm using in the dungeon as objectives. Uh, and you get, where are the dead trees? But then I've also got, um, other dead trees I'm going to use too. I'll, sh I'll show you those as well. Hang on. Ugh. Uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm digging now. Much digging. Many trees. Oh, there's a piece of boat. I should have been using that to cut down. Whoops. I'll put that over there. Where have the dead trees gone? Oh, there's some dead trees up here. Are these dead trees? No. I've got like a whole thing of trees. Anyway, there's lots of dead trees somewhere. Uruks. Angma. Where are my trees? Anyway, I've got um, a whole bunch of the uh, Woodland Scenics armatures, which I'm going to use as uh, dead trees that will go in. Uh, so they'll be like all around the base as Merkwood. Uh, and then I'll use... I'll probably use... Maybe I'll use some of them inside the castle. I'm not sure if they're spooky enough to be in the castle. Um, but there's some amazing GW ones that come in the kit, which are somewhere in this room. But... Uh, yeah, your guess is as good as mine for that. Let's get the rest of the thing in. <laughs> when the lower table is playable, will Denethor be making a jump test off the top? Absolutely. Of course. Of course. Thanks for watching, Maddie. We'll see you next time, dude. Wait, what? No, 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 no. Calm down. That's like, wait, you've scared me now. No, because it's really late. Yeah, calm down, Felix. The Middle Earth thing, the Middle Earth reveals are in like 14 hours, not in two hours. Because it's 2 p.m. their time, which is 11 p.m. our time. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, good. Vanda says, Vanda says we're good, we're good. Okay. All right, let's get this guy cut down. So he needs to go along that sort of line, he needs to be there, so it's about that. Ha! <laughs> Felder says I might have set my alarm by accident. Yeah, don't scare me, man. I'm sorry. I mean, I guess I could have just rolled into the stream and done that, but um, as Ben and Ollie are in bed, who are supposed to be joining me, that wouldn't, wouldn't have been ideal. Uh, Alright, we need um, to trim this down, somehow. Where the hell is the pencil? Did, did any of you guys move the pencil? Who the hell put it over here? I bet it was Matty Dishner just before he left. It was like, oh, I'm gonna move the pencil just to fuck with him. Um, okay, so I'm gonna tilt that a little bit. 
gonna give myself a little bit of room here by rotating that. I'll pull it this way just for a bit of safety. And I'm gonna make a line there. And I'm gonna make a line from the bottom because, as you guys will see in a moment, this needs to be cut on an angle so that it matches with this angle here. So we need to swap our fences again. Oh, man. Those uh, fumes are clearing out my <laughs> cold. I'm just gonna open my window because I'm definitely getting a bit fumigated in here. Sorry, I'll just have to cross camera for a second. Oh, look, big close up on the Zorpa Zorp merch. ZorpaZorpMerch.com. Alright, window is open more. I'll just cross the camera again. Oh, look, it's amazing Grimbold Zorpazorp shirt available at ZorpaZorpMerch.com. Okay, I'm back. Can you guys still see nice enough? Yep. Oh, we've lost the camera! Camera down! Camera down! Everybody get your hobby bingo! Let's see, did I get it to- did I fix it before the chat? I don't think I did. Because I think I saw it on, um... Oh, that's interesting. Ah, we're good. Woo! It was the match! It was the match! <laughs> Zorbazorp match killed the video! Zorbazorp match killed the stream. Doesn't quite have the same ring. Okay. Um. <laughs> Ollie, Ollie says, log in and it's all black. Quality. <laughs> Only the best. This is the incredible streaming uh, experience that you'll be joining this evening. It's because, you know how the flip screen on the A6400 broke? So now I can literally only see the A6400's feed live on my computer or through the eyepiece. But live on the computer obviously doesn't have the HDMI data export, so I can't look at the battery anymore unless I stand up and go and look through the eye lens behind the camera. Uh, frustrating. And I can't stream with my... Um, a7S3 because I'm streaming through vMix and vMix doesn't know how to read the A7S3 because it's like, what is this data rate? Um, so, I don't know, maybe I'll try using the A7S3 through OBS when we use OBS tonight and maybe that will work. Although I might like, end YouTube with the data rate. <laughs> it's like 4K ability, at least it's not raw, I'll turn raw off. We'll see how we go. Um, I might be able to fix it. Um, Lachlan and I need new cameras. I have a new camera, I just can't make it work through my computer. It's too, it's too good. Um, what if the GW reveal is a 28mm Orthanc terrain kit? Now that I would buy. <laughs> um, okay, uh, I, I, does anyone remember what I'm doing? Oh yes! I'm trimming down this little edge, so that it, it fits nicely. Oh, I, I forgot to, uh, I forgot to sing the Grimbold song. Oh, Harry, you got a stanza. If anyone wants more Grimbold song, it's more Super Chats. <laughs> uh, okay, how the hell am I gonna cut this? Oh, this is gonna be interesting. I gotta cut it from, like, way out here. Uh, alright, alright, alright. Yeah, Orophon and Rumil will, um... See you later, dude. Enjoy uni today. Yeah, that's what we want. It's weird cutting something with, like, the trim line so far up. Rivendell scenery would be amazing. Also be very, very tricky. So, I, that's, I mean, something like that would be incredible because it's just, it's just very tough to sculpt. So, Rivendell terrain will be amazing. It's called chopping off a finger trim. <laughs> yeah. The hint is we have two towers related. <laughs> and Rivendell. Ollie says, sexiest stream ever. Does this mean I have, I have to sing the Grimbold song now? I'm going to get the lyrics up. In case there's more super chats. If the super chat reaches a hundred, I'll get the guitar out. 
Uh, where is it? It's here somewhere. Grimbold. Alright, I found them. Maybe. Oh, I can print them. I have a printer now. Alright, it's printed. Every, every super chat is a stanza. A hundred is this the guitar. This is how the, uh, the streamers do it, right? I'll get Kira to give me lessons. The Titan on the background. Is he? Oh, yeah, there he is. <laughs> oh, you know, just like sitting here. I, I, I've only got one of my Titans in the background. It's a soft flex. Okay, let's cut this guy. Oh, a little bit of a wobble, but I think we're alright. Yeah, we had a little wobble, but it's not too bad. I think we can fix it. So, let's bring down this guy. What is going on down there, printer? It's printing like 80 copies of the... Uh, See you, Sammy. We'll see you in a bit. What is happening? All right. I have the I have the lyrics. This is what matters. I haven't looked at this in so long. <clears throat> oh, that's what the yeah 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 yeah. We heard the horns in the hills ringing, swords shining in the south. It's a good song. Good track, man. Zorp was Zorp limited release. Okay, so that, that there, look, you can see that's perfect. We got the angle right there. We just need to trim off the tiniest little bit of this guy now, the opposite curve, just to make it sit flush on this side. Uh, so let's let's bring this back in here. Oh, nearly nearly smashed up my wire. So I want a little bit off this guy, but like a little bit, a teeny tiny bit. Needs to be the opposite end to that. Is that the right? Yeah, that's the right one. The angle's too sharp, so I'll bring that back a little bit. Oh, uh, I think that made it worse. I don't want a shallow angle. Yeah, there we go. Uh, okay. Gotta make sure I cut the right side here. That would be the right side, but I have my things too. Okay. Uh, yeah, that Yep. That's good. That's exactly what I want, right? That fixes there, that comes off. Okay. I'll just make this last cut, and then we are in... Oh, I should have cut the second piece while I had the same angle. Anyway. This guy, seriously. Where's my chat going? Oh, he's coming in. He's coming in script. I want some new elf stuff, please, says Ollie. Um, finally get to use all my riders. I'd buy that album, says Bryce. Oh, up to 215 likes now. I can't see it because I've alt tabbed. More likes for the like god. <laughs> Sam says he's back with a banana. <laughs> Alright, let's trim this guy down. Oh, this is way too much. I've committed now, but that was too much. Yeah, that was definitely more than I intended. Oh, shoot. No, no. Deep breaths, we're okay. Deep breaths. We're good. Uh, yeah. It was definitely too much. Huh. Okay, now I'm super confused. <laughs> So what was the... Oh, 
fruit sticks. Yep, I just I just did something bad. <laughs> Paga, that's really annoying. No, so that side that side still looks okay. So we can make that work, and then that. I think I'm going to be saved by the fact that I had um, some extra length. But I'm not really sure what just happened or why that now looks weird. So I'm just going to cut that back with the normal fence. I'm not going to put any more angle into it. Before I, until I work out what has happened. <laughs> Very confusing. So the side that I'm happy with being the side that's over there is that one. That's definitely the angled side, so it's this one. And I just want to pull back just a tiny bit of it. Just to sort of straighten that out a bit. And we are now looking at something like that. Yep, that is going to work. Don't really know what happened before. But uh, now what I can do is just give this a subtle angle. <clears throat> Atmos Seeker! Hey, dude! <laughs> Fruit sticks! Come on, Lockie, watch your language. Alright, so that is going there. And that's looking good. And then this, which is that top piece, will go here. Or something. And maybe create uh, some extra something. We'll get to that in a moment. Let's get this uh, fully operational. That thing's operational! Yes, that was Admiral Akbar. Um, Thanks for the super chat, Atmos Seeker. I suppose you want a stanza of the song as well. Oh, you guys. Doughty Grimbold fought and fell there in a far country in the mounds of Moodenberg under mold they lie, but not with his horse upon foot he would die. <laughs> like that sounds so cool. Okay. <laughs> Oh, that scraping hurts the ears. Yeah, it's probably not nice. Hey, Cairns. Thanks for joining from Spain. So that piece is going to go there. Can you guys even see that? Where's the live thing? Yes, you can. So you can see that's sort of starting to come together. While we're here, let's do a little, uh, a little squiggle so we can start to capture the essence of that. So we want this to be sort of like this. So those two pieces are going to be broken away. They might be like, we'll, we'll, we'll just play with it as we're carving. But that all is going to be gone. Which will be quite cool. Will be quite cool. We need to do a little bit of carving work here. Because this is actually a broken piece of resin. It was a completed wall that has sheared while I was drop sawing it. Um, and so we need to sculpt that a little bit to make it look more realistic. Or build it up with rubble. Which is probably the easier way than sculpting uh, resin. Uh, <laughs> Bryce says that's a banger. It is a banger. It's a good banger. Uh, right, let's let's mount our, our our pin. I'm gonna have to pull that one out to make sure I get level. Uh, I'm not confident about the angle of that drill. Let's see what the damage is. Uh, not amazing, but not terrible. Uh, I'll make a shorter pin, so we don't have to worry about it. Yeah, Marky's over in Spain. Andalusia? Or Andalusia? I think it's Lucia. Because no, that would be the C in Spanish, wouldn't it? Oh, I can't remember. It's been a long time since I studied Spanish. That would be, uh... One term before I change schools. And they didn't offer it. Alright. In goes there. All I remember is that Ola and Comesta say the same thing in Italian and Spanish. That's all I remember. Okay. 
So that's looking pretty sweet, and the hole's pretty solid, so I think I'm just going to try going straight down. Uh, is that the way to do it? Yeah, I think so. Okay, down we go. Just roll the dice and hope it's nice to me. Feels good. Feels good. Feels good, looks good, is good. And then that, we'll chalk it into there. Perfect! We're getting there. We're building a square set of things. Uh, oh, I wonder if there's something else we can use from the resin range up here now. Um, Oh, right, Andalusia in Spanish. Okie dokie. Andalusia. Oh, cool. Andalusia. How often do you stream? Um, it is... Uh, we try to stream fortnightly on the second channel, and then all the scenery streams happen on this big channel, because obviously this this is all about scenery, this channel. Um, and then, but the battle reports and the mini painting for the Battle Games of Middle-Earth happened on the second channel and it's normally fortnightly, it was on hiatus for about four months. It's sort of back now as I get ready to move to New Zealand, I'm just doing it all over the place, sometimes more often and on weird times. Um, and then we'll get rhythm back when we're in New Zealand. But at the moment I'm just like streaming a lot because I'm really enjoying it. I've missed Middle-Earth, basically. Alright, so what if I try and add something really crazy here? Like, I've got all these nice pieces. It could be fun to try and jazz up the bigger boards. Oh, that's what I could do. I could have another archway here on the corner. So that could go there. Let me have a look at what, what other pieces I have here. So I think this is actually from this. This is one building. It's a really nice building too. Works quite well. I've seen you play so many armies across your vids. What is your favorite? Middle Earth, Horus Heresy or 40k? Middle Earth for sure. Um, closely followed by Heresy. Middle Earth is like my life, you know, I, I'm moving to New Zealand because I love Middle Earth. Um, Middle Earth is always the favourite child, uh, but I, I absolutely adore Heresy. Love Heresy. And Legion is beautiful too. Lovely game. But Heresy is the baby. I mean, uh, Middle Earth is the baby. Do we think that could work? It's pretty cool. Be nice to have like a little platform up somewhere. I love the implication that there's supposed to be stairs that high. It's kind of wild. Um, it's called Zorpa Zorp Streams. MTLJ. So that's all we've got so far. I don't have any other. So what do I do? I actually need to use this further down. I'm just thinking about, like, the rest of the build now. So that goes there, and then that's broken off, okay. Um, no, I don't think it doesn't, which means it's sort of... Da, 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 da. It's oh, Yeah, it only stays standing because Sauron wills it. Yes, it doesn't obey, like, the laws of physics. It's whacked. This would be pretty cool. And then, how would I account, account for the fact that that... Do I have any more broken pieces like that? Let me have a look in my box. Oh, there's a piece here we could use. Oh, I've got some wacky stuff in that offcuts bit. So here's another bit, which is basically just one of these, right? So I can put that there. Like that. Uh... Thanks, dude. Have a good sleep over in the UK, MTLJ. Otherwise, um, we keep it sort of going and we go this way. Dear, oh dear. This is getting 
bigger than Ben-Hur. The other da the dangerous element of putting resin up here too is it's going to be resin mounted to foam with foam in the middle, so it gets a little bit like risky from a structural integrity perspective. But when has that ever stopped me before? The other thing we could do is mount this to here. This might be the ticket. Have that, oh no, but that, that still needs to be an angle piece. So I could build a fascia to join that to there. And then just have like this random platform there. I'm just gonna take this guy off for a second before we damage him. I'm not sure if you guys can really see what I'm tinkering with here because of my camera angle, sorry. Thinking about whacking this up here just as like a random archway because this is already sculpted that I don't have to sculpt anything. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm a pretty big fan of that. I'm not sculpted anything, it's great. <laughs> and then this could have been like a little piece that was jutting out. Maybe there's a broken bit of floor there. Thanks, Syrinx. Glad, glad you're enjoying it all, mate. Well, I sound terrible. I'm so congested. Apologies for that. Ah, look at this. I even have the little fascia plate that would work to fix that. So that would go there, that would go there. I also don't mind the idea of continuing some of the brassy stuff. Thoughts on this, guys? It might be too hard. Georgie! Yeah, this will. Not straight away, but in, in a few years when I ship everything over. But I'll be building the rest of it in New Zealand and then shipping this over to join it. Yeah, it looks cool. I think the question is a structural integrity thing. It would be very easy to just like get this and slap some more foam there and then this, this piece is like really strong and really awesome. But if I, if I put a piece of resin halfway up it's going to create like, I'm thinking, oh, it'll save me all this time, like, sculpting extra foam, but it's going to be quicker to sculpt this foam and add some ruins than do a, um, a structural integrity challenge. Bit of an engineering challenge. But it does look cool! <laughs> this is what a lot of my scenery time is, is being paralysed by indecision when it comes to building stuff. It's amazing how long it takes. I just love that it incorporates some stairs with like zero work because those are already pinned and mounted. God, I can barely breathe right now. Okay. So let's, let's experiment with mounting that there, mounting that there. I'd have to cut off a bit of that back bit, but that would be okay. How much would I have to cut off? Quite a lot, but again, that, that would be pretty cool actually. Definitely becomes a structural integrity question. I could, yeah, so I could reinforce it. <laughs> it's like being in Australia. The answer is always make things bigger or more complicated. Any structural engineers in the chat? Me! <laughs> I did two years of mechanical and structural engineering. There's one in the studio. It's, it's the, the effort to achieve it. I could definitely do it. The vision is like 60% of the build. 100%. 100%. Alright, here, you guys have a think about that. I'm just gonna duck over and grab something from the desk. Back in a sec. Now is this music looping? Yes it is, good, because I always forget to loop the music. <sighs> Have I played Skyrim, asks Sam. Yes, of course. Yes, of course. 
Alright, so the great thing, um, Dan says I might need to add more weight to the other side, but because the bottom is all resin, it's actually got a really stable base, so adding stuff to one side isn't going to make it lean one way or the other. Um, hey! <laughs> Needs more Rohirrim! I like that contrasting hobby. Uh, the other option is to do something not quite as drastic. What have I got here? Um, I do love those corner pieces. Can I work a corner into there? I think I might give up on this idea. I think it's going to be too much of a build. That I don't... I, I, if I, I could drop saw that piece. I think, I think it's going to actually probably ruin... The, like, like I could do like a really nice cut back here, which opens up the whole top section. If we build this here, it's basically going to get very claustrophobic down in the bottom. It's already pretty gnarly for playing in and around that bottom. It's still stupidly massive. Don't worry about that. And I think I'll save these pieces for the tower on the other side, which we might get to today. We'll see how we go. Alright, so, I think that's basically done. We, we put that there. I don't think I need to cut anymore. Now it's foam carving time. So, what we will do is now we're going to work on the profile. Wait, is Kira in the chat? Do more things! <laughs> hey Kira. I've got the husband and wife duo on separate profiles. Uh, okay. So that's going to go there, that's going to go there, yeah that'll look good. So now what we need to do is like finalise, oh, obviously I'll need some little piece of off cut foam in there but I can just wedge that in and then patch it with trimming. Um, that's not going to fit in carry on luggage now mate. Yeah it's, uh, it's getting pretty big. So now what we'll do is we'll grab a pencil and we're going to put in all our kind of ruiny toppy bit. So this is all just going to be like, we'll, we'll just keep that shape and kind of hack it down. This will have a little bit of ruin to it. I might put a little bit more up there as well. But yeah, let's just start. Let's just start going from the top. Oh, what's happening over there? I can't even remember. Something happens. It's this little piece. Where'd he go? Where'd the little bit go? Can anyone see it? Here he is. So if he goes to here, that means that the ruins on this bit have to start like sort of there. So that's going to go like that. Yeah, that'd be cool. Alright, let's pick a side to build up from. I think it's this side. <laughs> Kieran's still in the chats. <laughs> What's the- how long till guitar comes up? Let me check. No, I'm safe. There's no guitar coming out yet, so it's only a stanza. One euro for a whole stanza. God, I'm cheap. <laughs> Dance, monkey. What were we up to? We're just going through the song. Um, um. God food, he would die. Death in the morning, at day's end. Foam died with blood. Flamed at sunset, green hours, tears red, then it rolled. Dark waters under mountain shadow. <laughs> Making me sing while I'm dying on the chat. This is nice, thanks. Oh, Andy, you bastard. <laughs> Let's roll into it. He held the ford on foot all alone. With mount underneath is how he would be known. Axe in both hands, he lay done, lending low. But from the saddle would come no mighty blow. We're into the chorus next. <laughs> what the fuck did I miss, guys? Uh, if every super chat I have to sing a stanza of the Grimbald song, <laughs> Bo, that's what you missed. Okay, so let's carve away, um, let's, let's work on this guy, and I'm going to essentially build my way up and around. So the first thing we're going to do is just, like, roughly hack out, um, the shape of the rubble. Just sort of back and forth. 
Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You don't want to do it too hard, and then we're just going to do this bad boy. Boom. Now we've got the beginnings of our rubble profile. Da -da 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 -da. Beautiful. And I'm going to do... Uh, do I do the top now? Where is that little piece that this connects to? So this connects to here. Looking good. Looking good. Um... And I can't remember how it interfaces with the other side now. I've already forgotten. So I think, yeah, I think we'll just, uh, just rubble off the top of that as well. So I'm just sort of, uh... <laughs> just roughly trimming it, pulling it down for now, and I'll, I'll tweak all of that once we do the stonework. Speaking of stonework, Let's smash some in. Now, I'm not going to measure this. We're just going to go wild here because the great thing is, is it barely wraps around a joint. So it just needs to look good on every face plate. So we are just going to do this all by eye, roughly matching the, uh, the brick pattern that I've got there already. And keeping it as straight as we can. I actually found some more of the plastic girding that I used to make these metal strips. So we can actually decorate the sides of the building potentially with some more. Oh, you know what's gnarly? I've just realized this actually does need to tessellate with this. And somehow, by some crazy fluke, I've cut it so it will actually work. <laughs> what, a, what a saving moment that was. Crikey. Alright. Flying by the seat of our pants here. How, how does that look? Uh, it's a little uppish. So we're working on this now. So that'll work nicely. I can put some rubble in to kind of make that really sort of jive. So we'll keep the, the straight lines happening there. Oh, I'm definitely getting a bit uppish. Let's try and bring this back a little bit so that it meshes nicely on the other side. So this is like the only side, the only part where our, our pieces are going to actually join and sort of wrap around. Can you guys see? Am I on... This is this is a horrendous angle. Sorry, guys. Less of my face and more of my hands for this part. And I might... Uh, might stop us down a bit, too. Uh, where the hell is... Is it this one? I can't remember how to change anything on this camera. Ah, oh, there it is. Oh, is that a little less intensely bright? Yeah, that looks better. Oh, radio. Hey, Zorbazorp, thanks for being a major player in keeping Middle Earth SBG alive and popular. You are most welcome. That is the plan. We do all these other systems as a, as a huge scam. Just to trick the other gamers to come into play Middle Earth. The Heresy campaign is just a marketing uh, recruitment drive for future Middle Earth players. <laughs> no, not really, but also yes. Uh, <laughs> I will trick them all into falling in love with Middle Earth as well. So, of course, this is a two sided thing, which I've just realised is totally a nightmare because now I have to sculpt two sides. So, I'm just wrapping around these edges here. And just for the sake of ease, I'm actually going to wrap it around this way too. Even though this fascia isn't seen, this side, this face. That's awesome, Ross! Yeah, they're both good games, and they appeal to a lot of the same... Well, Lockie thought they appealed to a lot of the same audience. They've got a lot of stuff in common, because they're, um, they're very narrative and story-driven, and I think that's why I love them both so much. They're just all about story. So it's Foam Carving City. So this is um, basically a lot of my time on these builds. <laughs> but it's um, that's why the, the, the streams are so great. Because so I can just hang out and you guys can keep me company and keep me working. Whereas I usually just sit here listening to audiobooks. Very easy to get distracted when you're alone. <laughs> Andy says, Hey Lucky, how many super chats do I need to make you fall in love with MCP? <laughs> 
Uh, that would be maybe like 40,000 Super Chats. <laughs> I have to harass him here and the Mournable Chat. So there he Alright. Next verse. We're up to the chorus. Um. Wait a minute. This isn't the full song. It's missing the chorus. Uno Memento 4 for 4. Where's the bit about... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the chorus, and then it, and then it re reprises. Alright, I remember it now. I've got all the lyrics written down, but they're not in the right order. He won't return to Rolling Plain. His song won't be heard, but the hills call his name. Son of Grimslade, strength of Westfold. Return from the fields before Bastion of Stone. Doughty Grimbold, fought and fell. There in a far country in the mounds. Of Moonberg under mold they lie, but not with his horse upon foot he would die. <laughs> there you go, Andy. Five dollars earns you two stanzas. I've upped my rate. You get more bang for your buck now. A new contestant for The Voice Australia. Well, The Voice New Zealand soon. Next, uh, the, the next tier is uh, singing it in different accents. <laughs> Trying to uh, acclimate with my new uh, countrymen and countrywomen and uh, singing in a Kiwi voice. And accidentally alienating the entire New Zealand community. Alright, so we've, drawn, we've done this bad boy, we're going to just widen these grout lines. Just with the pencil. So this is how I made this resin stuff. It just sort of went to a kind of like macro detailing extent because I was going to um, resin it. Uh, I was going to—I made molds of it and cast it. Oh, that was not—that was rough. It's okay. It's very weathered ruined stone. No one really cares. Okay. He should be the judge on the force. <laughs> uh, what Loki isn't telling you is that he's being deported for Australia, from Australia for his singing and his fleet and new fleet to New Zealand. It could be true. Uh, now, ideally I wouldn't do this with this knife, but this is what I have with me today. So now we're going to do all the little bricks in between. Is this camera angle workable for you guys? Can you see what I'm doing? I think you can. Um, yeah, beautiful, awesome. Chris says accent means nothing here. I was uh, I was born here, and most people think I'm British once I start talking. It's funny when we, whenever Larissa and I travel in New Zealand. Um, uh, and abroad as well. Quite often people mistake us for Briti, uh, British people. On, uh, on YouTube, my accent is fairly broad. Uh, but my, my, my speaking accent and my just like normal making videos voice when I'm doing... Uh, when I'm just getting very excited about things is not quite as broad and intensely Australian. Just sort of comes out that way whenever I get uh, very excited about toy soldiers. Lots and lots of little bricks here. I love that I can't stop working. Like right now, I'm like, this. I don't, I don't want to keep carving. But you guys are watching me, so I have to carve. It makes me, makes me get so efficient. I'm feeling exceptionally good about not doing that big archway. Because look at me, I'm, I'm already up to carving. I'd be I'd be stuck doing structural nonsense right now. Uh, 
Radio Free Lockie. <laughs> yeah. Buck and Duck says, oh, seeing you in the Kiwi accent, I just got to hear this. Say chips and six when you do. Yeah, I think, because, like, whenever, I, whenever you're doing accents, right, you always have, like, these lead-in words that, like, help you stay in the accent. So whenever I'm um, imitating Kira, I'll just say potatoes a lot, because um, it helps me keep my Irish accent. So, you know, whenever I'm uh, imitating the Kiwi accent, I'll just have to say push and chops regularly through the song to, to keep the accent uh, accurate, shall we say. <laughs> Sucks. I'll have six of uh, fish and chips. Um, just once again widening the grout with the pencil now. These are all the vertical lines. We've done the horries. Horries and verdies. <laughs> That's an obscure reference. That's not that obscure. His channel's pretty big these days. Not our space remotely though. So who is excited for the releases this evening? Look at those likes, we're pumping it up guys. I've had something, oh, well, when we look at the, uh, the like to viewer ratio, not active viewer, total viewer, it's not good guys, we've got to, those are rookie numbers. <laughs> Gotta pump those nuppers up in this racket. Alright, so that's our, our, our rough brickwork, and then what I want to do is, um, we're going to do some depression work to create relief. We're going to do some texture and then some detailing on all, all of this rubbled stuff. So let me grab... Uh, I need the, a flat back scalpel and I need my foam ball. I didn't get this ready because I didn't think we'd get this far. So there's a big stream tonight, KS, right here on the channel. Uh, they are doing a, a Twitch reveal and we're doing a live reaction to it. Uh, it's in... 12 hours, no, 12 and a half hours our stream starts and it starts just after that and they've been teasing these huge releases on Instagram and on, on Facebook and stuff and it's like a whole one hour stream of Middle Earth announcements so we're going to do Ollie and uh, Benny and I, we're all going to do like a big live reaction to it here on the channel, it's going to be good fun. Yeah but Connor, what you got to remember is that's how many people are watching right now. There's been like 5,000 people watching this morning, <laughs> only 200 likes. It's not good. It's not good. Alright, scalpel time. Where is my scalpel? Uh, not in there. Scalpel. What was the other thing I wanted? Oh yeah, foam textures. There's one of them. That's a very old one. Aha! That's a good one. Alright, I have the foam rollers. That's a start. The foil rollers, I mean. Where is my scalpel? Aha! Scalpel! Alright, so now what we'll do is a bit of the old... No, press that like button like the fate of Middle Earth depends on it. I agree, that's a good motivator. For every like, I will make sure that we get uh, a new box set this evening. That's what some people have been saying. If we got another box set like the um, Pelinor Fields one, what would you guys most want it to be? Ooh, I've just had an epiphany. Which has nothing to do with you guys, but everything to do with me. Because I'm streaming, I get to have pies for lunch. Alright, we've got, uh, they tease Rivendell and Lothlorien, so some elves. That would be cool. Uh, Last Alliance, Last Alliance box set would definitely be cool. Although I, I don't know, I, I kind of want like, uh, updated warriors if that was the case. The plastic glass alliance sculpts. 
Not the best. I love the medals though. So just, not depressing every brick, but just creating that relief. So that they've all got a bit bit different, bit of interest. And now you can see that all of those massive walls that are on the rest of the build over here would have taken me a bloody long time. <laughs> and that's that. That's nothing compared to other things I've built. Oh man, I need a pie. It's food time. Do I have banana left? No, it's all gone. The pro gamer move would be to just make kits for whatever Zorba Zorba is trying to build on his channel. Yep, that would be a that would be a top tier strat. Yeah, my, my dream is that we get some scenery, obviously. But I have some other desires. We'll do a big uh, a big chat this evening about the predictions and guesses and stuff before the stream goes live. I can hear the footsteps of doom in there. Alright, now the foil roller. This is the thing that makes it, it gives it the rocky texture. Don't know if this tapping is uncomfortably loud. It probably is. It's probably brutal on the eardrums. Aren't all plastic warriors would be awesome? Oh, Mikey, wouldn't they? Man, tell me about that. Anything Arnold or Enigma would be incredible. I'd be all over that. Alright, that's enough of that. So this guy's nearly ready, now what we need to do is just, now we've got these bricks, is we need to sort of line up our rubbling with the brick lines. So that like, you know, the, the rubble pattern is kind of realistic to the brickage. Um, so we'll just kind of work on that a little bit. Pull that away, pull that away. Um, anything that's like not particularly realistic, we'll just do rip out and change, make sure that there are some bits that jut out. This one obviously needs heaps of work on this side. It's sort of interesting because this is obviously upside down, right? So this is, this is hanging. So it's going to look a little different to the stuff that where stuff's been blasted off the top. This is something underneath that's been blasted. So now I just kind of mess up all of that. Really, just hammer it from different angles. Make sure it doesn't look too silly. This, this angle too. Get a bit of texture in there. And then I can come back in with my pencil and, and make sure that those grout lines are obvious in, in some spots. So it's like, you know, the, the mortar's crumbled away. Beautiful. And that is one piece pretty much completely done. We will um, probably join that together with like a bunch of rubble and stuff to like hide the imperfection of that join. Now what we're going to do is take this piece, oh, which is already looking awesome. So good. A new Theodred model, that'll be alright. Plastic Warriors would be awesome full stop. Yeah, I don't think we'll get Plastic Warriors. Um, as an Ulbazar for the Battle of Moria, not the two towers, but would be great. Yes, it would. Um, a new Fellowship match by Nine Ring Race. That would be awesome, although it's not really two towers themed. Tapping isn't too bad. Great. Dwarfs and Goblins. Practical Me says, I hope it's something I won't want to buy. Yeah. Wild Men of Druid and the other Woses. Don't think they'll get any love. If Sauron had a favourite ice cream flavour, what would it be? Oh, I just tipped my bin out everywhere. Hey, I saved it. Not too much rubbish on the floor. What time is the stream tonight? It is just, it's like 12 and a half hours from now is when my stream starts. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is, uh, if that's in the final position, yes it is. I am going to uh, match up the lines for this. And now it's time 
to do this bad boy. I can't imagine that this is particularly interesting, I have to say. It's really high quality content, sitting here watching Lockie carve the same pieces of foam over and over again. Let's see how the viewers dropping. Oh, not yet! Apparently people are still interested in watching Lockie cut foam. It baffles me. What if there's any other part of the build that I can segue to, to, um... Help keep it, uh... Keep it a bit more varied for you guys. What, what can we move on to next? So this is my current goal, is just, like, finishing off this tower. Um... And then there's another tower to build on the other side. There's the dungeon underneath, but I can't really do that on camera. It's just a lot of small finicky stuff. Foam, foam, foam! Oh, apparently I'm, I'm, I'm unhappy. Well, if I, I can carve foam. I, I got a lot of foam to carve. I think the thing that may end the stream, though, is my desire of pies. We've got time, though. It's only, it's only ten. It's only ten. I've been streaming for two hours. We can switch, just try and set a new record, maybe. I think previous stream record for Lockie is five and a half hours. That was long. I think Ollie and Kira have gone to bed and not even said goodnight, so that was that was not polite. I'll be having words with them in the morning. Alright. Let's get this guy. I'm, I'm just wrapping this right. These are just the matching ones, which I'm just doing now, and then I'm gonna stop and do the um uh, the, the ruin section up the top, and I'll get that looking really nice, and then I'll do all of the rest of the bricking. Well, I'll, I guess I'll just plan it out, right? Not look, not do the detailing. Okay. Almost one more. So that's all of those, um, vertical panels. Is it really? Huh. I didn't know that. Dawn is proud of you, says Adam. Um, yeah, that's fascinating. I had no idea. What is uh, like uh, word, the study of like the roots of words? Is that entomology? And etymology is bugs. I always get them backwards. I think it's entomology. Oh, etymologist. Entomology. Oh no, now that's maybe I'm thinking that's the bugs. I can't remember. So I'll just check that these do line up nicely, just widening the grout lines while I'm here. I bet you I, once I've built the main structure I get overboard and start adding like extra holes and bits and pieces. It's tree beardology. Alright, here we go. Let's see, let's see if that, that works nicely. Yep. Yeah, that'll be fine. Close enough. Oh, not even close enough. It's perfect. Look at that. Once it sits in flush. It is fabulous. Oh, you know what I have realised, though? Is technically, I also need to match to this now, right? Yeah. So if that's going to be there like that, that also has to match. So let's... I can't remember. Am I close or wide at the moment? You guys can't even see what the hell I'm talking about. What is this guy doing? He's got no idea. He's all over the shop. So I'm talking about uh, I'm talking about this piece here slots in. So that also has to match um, the panels on the other side. So just gonna draw mark in little grout lines where those are. You know they have to be close. Like it's not that big of a deal. They're not exact. This is an absolutely trashed tower. <laughs> it's not in the greatest of, uh, of Nick. Uh, what's the time in... Um... Hey, James is here. Hey, dude. I'm a bit late, but I made it. Wow, that is... That's gnarly, Mark. Oh, not at all. Fascinating. Time to move that out of the lexicon. Um, Jimmy says, yes, 10 a.m. 2 a.m. in France. That's rough. 
Master should be sleeping. Master needs to keep up his strength. I think some of this brickwork is a bit too small, but whatever. It's, it's got a match. I'm just not particularly fond of it being this small on a tower this big. But I'm just I'm just matching it to the exit. Wow, that was horrendous. What happened there? Just some some dodgy dodgy drawing by Loki there, folks. Disregard. Apparently, we are doing all the lines now <laughs> before we get to the top. Eight PM in ATL. Is that Atlanta? I think that's the state code for Atlanta. Waves from uh, it's, uh, yeah, eight oh five in southern USA. So yeah, ATL. Whoa! -ha -ha -ha! Look who's in the chat, flinging the super chats. What do I? Man, I might have to get the guitar out. No, I'm still safe. Who's running? Who's on the channel today? Is that Dave? Mini Wargaming. How you going, guys? Uh, so how do we kidnap you and get you to make awesome terrain for us 24-7? Uh, I do need to do a US tour, don't I? Come and say hi to everyone over there. Come and see Brent and Scotty and Johnny. Maybe do the Canada leg as well. Are you guys Canada or US? You're US, aren't you? Oh, maybe you guys are Canada. I can't remember. I can't remember where the bunker is. Um... Oh, it's Maddie. Hey, Maddie. How you doing, man? Yeah, Canada. I thought so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Near Niagara Falls. That's right. I could do the Canada leg. Go see Neil. Go see Jeremy. Who else is Canada? Yeah, one day I'll do a big, um, I'll do a big North America collab trip. Go see everyone. So many cool, uh, Canadian and, and US collaborators. What would you guys get me to make, Manny? <laughs> what would be the uh, the scenery wish for the Battle Bunker? Come to Spokane! <laughs> Lads on tour. Oh, whoa, that was a big slip. There we go. Alright, now I'm, I don't know why I'm up to widening grout lines. I still need, like, a whole other side panel to carve the lines on. But I'm doing the grout lines! <laughs> the pencil is in hand. It's happening. <laughs> he said, Maddie says, oh man, whatever you want. I'll, uh, I'll beat you into some Middle Earth. You guys do the odd bit of Middle Earth bat reps every now and then. Here we go. So this is... A bit of a smaller battle. I, I I hear the Imperial Palace. Yeah, man, that's gonna that's gonna take me some time. That's gonna take me some time indeed. That's a long one. That's that's like the you know three four years of chipping away. But that's the best way to do it. Like for for the channel and for me, um, is to have heaps of keeps of stuff on the go, because then I can rotate between them, which is great for making videos, because it keeps you guys engaged, because it's boring seeing 10 videos on the same thing over and over again. Uh, so it's good for the channel, but it's also good for me, because I just, like, I, I don't, I hate, I hate getting stuck on the same project for, um, for so long. Yeah, it's, I mean, yeah, I, I reckon it's probably mine. I, 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 yeah, I love, I love scenery, obviously. It's hard, because I do really enjoy all parts of the hobby. I, it, it, it's so, and it's, it, there's not really many hobbies that are, like, so varied in what they can offer from the same thing, you know. The gaming experience of that social element, um, building, you know, the really intense crafting, big layouts, the modeling, the painting, it's really fun. It's a good little hobby. What do you do with your old projects, asked Maddie from uh, Mini Wargaming. Uh, basically, I have a... Um, in fact, the video, the next video that's coming out this week on Dol Guldur, I actually talk about that a bit, because I go and dig this out of the storage unit at the start of the video. So I have a big unit um, where everything just goes on massive steel shelving racks. 
And essentially, because I'm about to move to New Zealand, make the big jump over the ditch, uh, so I have to... Every terrain project that is currently here is getting left behind, and then eventually, once we're set up and, and the new studio is built, I'll put them all on a massive container and ship them over. Um, but that'll be quite expensive, so I probably can't afford to do it for a while. We need to get set up. So, um, it's, um, they're just all on big racks, and I have to go through it all, sell a bunch of it, and then um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do like a, a really cool video where there's a bunch of old projects that I don't need anymore. So I'm going to sort of like repair them, recondition them, get them looking really smick, and then put them all up for bidding um, so that um, people can buy them and then use those funds to help fund the new studio, uh, which I think will be like a really fun piece because people will know the builds. They've all been in videos. Um, and then, you know, people can own a little slice of old school Zorbs of history and get some cool terrain for them or their club or whatever. Uh, I think that'll be a fun little video, so that'll, that'll come out in a few, a few months. Um, but at the moment they're all sitting in a big, a big shed, basically. Just double up Minas Tirith and the Imperial Palace. Yeah, bank them all together. Remus Ventanus, in the chat. The saviour of Kelth himself, he says, I'm so glad you're doing both Middle Earth and Heresy. Yeah, they're amazing. I, there, there are other game systems I'd cover as well, if I could. Um, I, I, I get, I'm hesitant to add game systems. I'm not going to get into all that today. Let's just have happy crafting. I don't want to do algorithm chats every stream. It gets depressing. But, um, oh, now, what we should do is we should carve this broken bit before I do more brickwork. Oh, Seth did not teach you how to say... What, is it Spokane? I thought it was Spokane. Niall, you have to school me. Give me the phonetic uh, pronunciation. Matty Tucker's watching from Newcastle in England. It's 1am, just finished 8 hours at a bar job. And his favourite YouTuber is live. Bliss. Much love, Matt and Molly. Thank you, guys. Uh, let's do this, um, this broken section. Just gonna... Remember, we're just zigging and zagging back and forth. You don't want it to be too, like, perfectly diagonal, but, um, then we just go, bada bing, bada boom. Spokane! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spokane, okay. Seth probably did teach me that, but I just forget. <laughs> Here we go, get some of this. We'll just do a little bit now, and we'll, I'll tweak all this uh, in a second once we've done the rest of the brickwork. Man, this is gonna look... This is gonna look cool. So, I've... Maybe realised something. No? Have I got this right? No, we're good. Everybody calm down. Night, Manny. Enjoy putting the kids... Enjoy doing the put-down. The nightly routine. Hope they go to sleep for you quickly. And easily, that's the key bit. <laughs> will do, Maddie, will do. Um, how do you have all your fingers? It is a question I ask myself regularly, uh, Adam. Alright. Man, that pie is calling. I wonder if I can Uber Eats a pie. And I don't have to stop streaming. We have pie deliveries. Look at this, just freehanding it. Who needs rulers? This is actually how I do it most of the time. Rulers just sort of slow me down. So you can just use, like, when you're using such a long blade, you can use that to cover the, um... You know, make sure it's straight. Alright, let's widen all this, uh, all the grout lines. Um, whoa! Anybody see that? Just bounce my, uh, my blade flying. Oh, right, Mikey, I was like, why are you going to bed, man? It's like, one in the afternoon. Mr. Bukan is a baker. Have a good sleep, mate. Oh, I forgot to sing for Maddie. His super chat's still sitting up the top. Oh, that's okay. I'll sing for him next time. Man, we're close. 
That's super chat. The guitar's nearly coming out. No, I'll give him. I'll give him a verse. Let me clean up these lines. He can have a rousing chorus. <laughs> it's fine, Adam. You gotta force your equipment to do things that they weren't designed to do. That's how you get the most productive and unsafe outcomes. <laughs> So this is a, um, a ruined slope that's going down instead of up, which is nice. Something different. Oh! Uh, Bo is sending me messages. Let me just check what he's saying on Insta, in case it's uh, a technical thing about the stream. Let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, Bo, if you're watching the stream, I will uh, look into that. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's saying, look at it, look at the message later. I can't remember. I will I will check. Yeah, there should be. Numinous City footage. Yes. Classic. The old Vostria footage relink. I will... Um, he's asking editing questions. I will have a look-see when I'm off stream. Uh, this is looking nice. This is looking really nice. How many folks we got on now? Oh, I've lost my stream screen now. Where'd you all go? Come back here, chat. Ugh, there it is. Hey, there you are. It is the now foam, Mr. Lockie Morris. Um, yeah, I, I miss it too. This is like the you know leftover from my stockpile. Uh, we don't really have uh, any more yummy good stuff. A rousing chorus. All oh, right, sorry. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I was seeing a rousing chorus, not an arousing chorus, Felix. <laughs> uh, that's gone a little bit dark now. Maybe I'll put this light up a bit. Oh, that's, that's definitely not what we wanted to do. There we go, am I a bit lighter now? Yeah, that's better. Looks darker on the screen than it is elsewhere. Cheers from Florida, says Rob. Do another flip. Look at that one. Will color me disappointed. <laughs> Um, is the white ruin wall handmade from plaster? Uh, asks Slab Server. So this is resin. It's the same stuff. Like I carved it and then I made silicon molds and then I, it's polyurethane resin. Uh, but you can easily make it from plaster too. Uh, right. What am I doing? I'm doing this. Uh, let's, let's get in and carve out some brickwork. The great brickwork of our time. I'm going to make the bricks a little wider than I would, so that I can clear the distance with uh, two cuts and three cuts, alternating. It's going to make it a lot faster than four cuts, three cuts. Actually, I think this is exactly how big they should have been. As it's gotten wider, it looks, looks good. Oh, I'm starting to... The blade is starting to blunt a little. What I might do, th these, this one here is sort of like particularly small, so I might just deliberately make it lots more to give it a different flavor. Like they, you know, they run out of brick size halfway through. Makes it sort of a bit, makes, sort of makes more sense. It's the words I'm trying to say. There we go. Just varied. It's Dogledore. It should all be quite strange and varied. <laughs> Can't remember. Dogledore. Uh, it was, it's originally elven actually, so some of this brickwork should be high quality. Um, or at least it, it, it was built on a, on a specific hill of importance. And it's, it's sort of a, I think it's a little contentious on whether or not the elves had structures there. Or whether it was literally just a bare hill, the hill of seeing. Um, I can't remember, it's been a while since I looked up all my Dol Guldur lore. Oh, Maddie Tucker, 100% our fave, we got Molly into 40k, rekindle my love for it, cheers from across the pond, can't thank you tonight, here's tonight's tips as a thank you. Well, Maddie and Molly, you have just bought yourself some fine tunes for your evening, the greatest song from the, uh, 
the Zorbazorb album. It's also the only song on the Zorbazorb album. Uh, where are we up to? Death in the morn and at day's end. Foam dyed with blood, flamed at sunset. Green I was tears, red then it rolled. Dark waters under mountain shadow. <laughs> How did this start? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. All right, I'm gonna do all the. Let's let's do all the the little uh, grout widening. This is the fun part. We just like zigzag down all the vertical lines. Whee! Finally managed to see a live build. Says Chris. There's more more barman. How is this going to be transported to New Zealand? It's not to start with. It will stay here in my uh, storage unit. And then eventually, uh, when I can afford it more than anything else, uh, and when I've got the studio set up in space ready to receive it and hopefully put it on display, um, it will be uh, packed up in a huge shipping container. I'll basically build a custom transportation rig for every board out of timber and foam. Uh, and then they will all go on a ship, on a big shipping container, and I'll meet the shipping container at the uh, ferry, at the dock, sorry. Uh, and I will uh, unpack it, drive it off a truck, bring it to the studio. It's going to be it's gonna be a massive ordeal. It should be a really fun set of videos, actually, vlogging the whole transportation process of all the all the boards. But yeah, everything's staying here in Australia for now. Um, Osgiliath and uh, Minas Tirith. And then I'll start new builds when I get to New Zealand, and then eventually all the builds will meet. Gandalf sacks 24 hours. <laughs> Night, Adam. Thanks for tuning in. Alex says, All right, Loki, fess up what's getting shown tonight. Well, you'll just have to come and watch the live reaction stream to find out. So, uh, Ollie and, uh, and Benny and I are going to be enjoying the reveals together here on the channel in 12 hours. I think it doesn't matter. I think whatever the sides are can just be whatever. Oh, man. You guys are going to keep me on this stream, man. The pies are calling. Tummy is grumbling. Made such baller progress. We are well on the way to having this tower completely finished. And it's like 20 past 10. We still got like some massive sides to do, but good progress. Very good progress. Oh, whoops! These were meant to be the small ones. Doesn't matter. Fun trivia. The US band The Goo Goo Dolls are huge Lord of the Rings fans and were originally called The Goldua Dolls. Really? That's crazy. I never knew that. Pies are too good. They are pies. Ah. Oh. I liked that trivia. That's not fair. <laughs> I, I choose to believe that it's true. Alrighty. -o. That'll do. Let's let's uh do all the beautiful stuff. Um I listen to stuff, because I it's exceptionally boring, board game woodsman. Um it's yeah. All about the audiobooks or the podcasts. Get that trapped under plastic pumping. Uh, yeah, or just, um, Lord of the Rings, or The Hobbit, or The Silmarillion, or any of the heresy audiobooks is basically the staples for me. Children of Huron, Fall of Gondolin, Eren and Luthien. That's pretty much the, uh, the cycle. I'm back on Lord of the Rings at the moment. I'm doing a double run-through right now, so I'm listening to the entire thing by Rob Inglis. And then I'll jump over to the Andy Circus Fellowship reading in anticipation of hopefully the um, Fellowship coming out by Andy Circus soon, so that I can sort of do them back to back. I usually listen to The Lord of the Rings probably 10 or 20 times each year, depending on uh, what else I'm. Lately, I've been listening to a lot of Heresy because I've needed to to 
learn the lore for uh, content. Um, but uh, you, usually I get through Lord of the Rings between 10 and 20 times a year. It's just great to have on in the background. I never really get bored of it. Sort of alternate. Lord of the Rings, Silmarillion. Heresy. I'll go on a big Silmarillion binge. I always do the Silmarillion, then every small first age text, like Baron and Luthien, Children of Purin. Well, not small, they're big, but um, they're, they're focused in. I love Children of Huron so much. Probably one of my favourite Tolkien books. So good. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. Alright. Oh, I know, I don't need to do those. I was like, the sides, but of course they're getting glued to stuff. Yeah, it's so sad. It's, it's hard. Yeah. Hey, man, some of, like, some of Tolkien is gory as. Like, the bit where, um, I don't know if I should, like, spoil it. I mean, people might not have read the Silmarillion. Um, if you don't want Silmarillion spoilers, block your ears for, like, 20 seconds. There's a particular part where, um, Fingolfin, High King of the Noldor, is fighting Morgoth, and... Fingolfin's like supreme duelist and they're like this is Morgoth right so like imagine Sauron on crack when he's got his like big evil physical form he's covered in black armor huge shield he's, he's a fe beast I think his axe is called Grond Hammer of the Underworld that's what that's referencing is Morgoth's axe he is savage boosh 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 um and um Golfenball is like giving him like the death by a thousand cuts he's really fast and agile so he's like slowly like cutting Morgoth up and they fight for like two days, and I think he cuts, he breaches Morgoth's guard like seven times, um, and, you know, like draws blood, and Morgoth gets like pretty enraged, and then eventually Fingolfin, um, starts to tire, and the way that Morgoth kills him is he, like, eventually bears down his shield upon him as Morgoth is like hacking open his leg. Morgoth bleeds all of this like black blood, and they're fighting on this like volcanic surface that's like covered in craters and Morgoth's blood like fills up the craters that they're fighting on and Morgoth like pushes Fingolfin down into the mud and drowns him in his own blood while he's like wailing on him with the hammer. It's gnarly. It is it's yeah it's awful and you're just like crying because Fingolfin's awesome. It is vicious. Um yeah, there's some really, there's some really gory stuff in the Silmarillion. It's, um, a lot of people get sort of put off because, like, the first chapter is about, like, the world building and, and Iluvata and, his, uh, you know, the Ainur who are effectively, like, totally the Trinity God angels. Um, it's that sort of, um, Roman Catholic format. And, um, and so it's, it's all about, like, singing the world into existence. So a lot of people, like, don't make it through that, uh, because it is quite, uh, highbrow, shall we say. Um, but then once you get into, like, the Battle of Unnumbered Tears and the War of Wrath and all of the kind of stuff that, the, the, the real meat and bones of the war against Morgoth, uh, which is in the later portions of the Silmarillion, um, I think a lot more people would be, would really dig that stuff. It is, it is a gnarly book. Really gnarly. I love it. Probably... It's tough. I mean, Lord of the Rings will always be number one, but it's still really... It, they're just so different, because Lord of the Rings is such this character-driven narrative. Whereas, um... Yeah, James, I was the same, man. The first time I listened to it, I was, like, 15. And, like, Peter had talked about the Silmarillion in the behind the scenes, and I was like, oh, man, i got to get my head around this. And I was like, what is this? <laughs> I'm very excited for the announcement, Sasquatch. Uh... There's a, a huge Lord of the Rings stream happening in, um... I'm so confused. Have I already done this side? Oh yeah, I, I've done the phone bit. I'm up to doing uh, depression work. In 12 hours time, or 11 and a half, right here on Zorbazorp, we're doing a massive stream as we watch along the um, Twitch announcements. They're doing a full hour of Middle Earth reveals, so we're doing a, a reaction stream here on the channel. Right, here you go. I'm going to stick this in here. Back in one sec, see if I can clear up my breathing.
Alright, I have returned. Oh, higher level of breathing achieved. Good morning all, how's the crafting going? Says, uh, Bellas. Good, 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 we're chipping away. We are making some baller progress here on Dog Will Dur. Working on a big tower today. Uh, there's probably a whole bunch of people in the chat who weren't here at the start. Would you guys like some context for what we're actually doing? Do you want me to pan over and show you the big build? I can absolutely do that. Woo! That was interesting. <laughs> Let's get some of these uh, tiles depressed. Don't bend to the pie like other men before you. Checking in for five. How are we doing? We are doing good. How about here? Let's 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 give Harry an update of what we're doing. So this guy slides in here. So so. Oh, actually, I will need to texture that side because it's exposed. Uh, so this is how we are going with the tower. We've carved out this bit. We've carved this bit, and then the rest of these sides are all mocked up, waiting to be carved. So it's going to be a pretty dope tall tower when it's finished. It's coming along nicely. Well, I'm being called in. Designated driver's off to pick up the family. Thanks for joining us, Marky. See you next time. So, Nate. Nate, Nate, Nate. Uh, he's asking for good foam adhesive. So I use Weld Bond, which is just a PVA, but it's like a high-strength, fast-drying PVA. So it takes like two to three hours to fully join. Um... Which is much quicker than like 24 hours. And it's it's pretty good. It's pretty forgiving. You know, if you need to rip stuff apart, it's easy to do that. Um, and uh, But the best way to do it is... You, what you want to do is, like what I'm doing here, is you want to join everything with physical components as well as glues. Andrew says I could make one a hell of a Mordheim table. One day, I promise I will. I, I love Mordheim. It's just like, once again, with what we... I get, I get scared to open up into multiple systems. Uh, every time I have it, I do it, I get burned pretty bad. But we'll see how we go. I've lost one of my fo foil balls. But I, I think I think a scenery, one-off scenery video in Mortar at the very least would be awesome. Otumno! <laughs> now that would be a build. Otumno would be bigger than the Imperial Palace, mate. One day. One day we'll get all of Middle-earth builds, including Beleriand and everything from the First Age. Ship it away. The bottom of the tower is made from resin out of um, my own moulds. So I carved those and then made moulds in silicon and recast them in resin. Right, and cast them in resin, I suppose. I was for a, uh, a big, uh, uh, yeah, commission job and some other stuff. So, oh yes, now I need to remember to texture that side. I'm just doing a bit of relief work. We don't have to go as hard, although a lot of this is actually quite exposed, even though it's the inside, so it needs to look pretty good as well. How difficult do you think Rivendell would be to carve? Exceptionally. Rivendell is going to be tough. I'm kind of hoping GW bring out elven scenery or something so I don't have to uh, work out how to carve it. If anyone can make that work, it's Ray Dranfield, the um, Middle Earth scenery sculptor. Uh, or Warhammer scenery sculptor, but he gets um, put on consignment to do Middle Earth stuff. I met Ray when I was over in the UK. He is a lovely, lovely guy. Awesome. And he's so damn talented. Um, I can't wait to send me some more photos of the Dol Guldur stuff now that I'm back on it. And I can't wait to see whatever he's working on next. He makes some amazing stuff. So yes, if they could just make elven terrain for me so that I don't have to, that'd be great. Preferably something that we could adapt to uh, Lothlorien and, and Rivendell. Oh, uh, oh, oh, I forgot about this. We just talked about this. Um, this is putting my expanding foam balance tube to shame. Hey, we all start somewhere, man. Uh, you should, I, I did a Balance Tomb recently, a very budget version. On, on the streams, actually. I think that might have still been when it was this channel, too. Not when they weren't on the second channel. Does Weta Workshop allow visitors? <laughs> Alright. 
There we go. Two pieces completely finished. Now this is where it gets sort of tricky. Should we just go from the other side maybe? No, we need to keep continuing this way. So now, if I swing this around, uh, maybe what I'm going to do, yes I am, I'm going to just chop, oh should I, do I cut that down or do I dig this out? That's our question, isn't it? Huh, so that's going to go up like that. Sorry guys, just going to do some math here for a moment. I think I'll just leave it like that and I'll fill it with filler, like, oh maybe I'll just hide it with edging or something. Eh, I'm too tired to get fancy. That'll do. That'll do. Uh, alright. Let's get a bit of this action. And now what I'm doing is I... Because I have to... These, these need to sort of tessellate nicely, right? So I am... Making sure I'm continuing around... The brickwork pattern. Oh, guys, the pies, the pies! They're calling me, I'm so hungry. But I am getting amazing work done, which is also keeping me here. <laughs> Not to mention hanging out with you guys. It keeps me, makes me work so hard. There are some really nice 3D prints. Oh yeah, that's true. There is some great elven stuff, like generic elven stuff, but I've, I, haven't, I haven't really seen anything that just like feels that amazing Rivendell stuff. There is some great Elven terrain out there, but something that was like perfectly screen accurate to um, New Line Rivendell, whoa, jeez, that'd be nice. Don't bend to the pie. I used to get all my foam from Bunnings, but they don't sell this foam anymore, so I'm just, I don't actually have a foam solution for Australia. I'm just using up all my leftover stuff. Which is basically almost out now. Which uh, is, would be worrying, but luckily I'm leaving the country to go and deal with New Zealand's foam situation, which I believe is even worse. Anyone in the uh, in New Zealand, let me know. Because you guys, I think the same thing happened. You guys used to get the NAF XPS. And uh, that's just not a thing anymore over there either. They changed to Bastion, which is just hot garbage. Alright, ten and a half. I'm just doing little checks here to make sure I'm cutting straight enough. Yeah, they look great. Oh, yes. Uh, send them to me, Felix. Show me the good stuff. It's a whole world out there. I, these these were not well drawn. I, I can't follow it all. <laughs> Where is the? I gotta I gotta line this back up again. Yeah, New Zealand has bunnings. I came to the stream for Lockie's internal monologue. Did not disappoint. Yep, it's 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 wild in here, man. It's a crazy place. Why am I holding five tools at once? Oh man. Imagine living in a country that doesn't have access to bunning snags. That would be a sad place indeed. I, Larissa and I used to have this weird tradition when I, I couldn't eat gluten and she was a uh, vegetarian. Um, that like we'd get bunning snags and like share them and then I would eat, just eat all the sausage. And Larissa would make like onion barbecue sauce sandwiches. Can verify. Top quality. 10 out of 10. Just under 21. Yep, that's looking pretty good. Might need to bring that end up a tiny bit. Oh, cool. Doug says, uh, The City of Ethelita by Black Magic Pixels has a lot of Lord of the Rings looking elven terrain. Cool. 
have to check that out. <laughs> Sausage and bread. Name a better couple. All oh, right. Now I guess before I go any up, any up, before I go any further up, I really need to make a decision about whether or not I'm doing anything special on this plate. This, I don't know. It's just. I'm in two minds, because the rest of the damn city is so busy, just some nice big stone towers might be a nice, like, palate cleanser. But then it also might feel like they don't belong enough because they're not busy enough. Um, especially with the way that they've, like, got... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Because I could put like a little window right up the top. I think I'll just leave them solid. I think we just need, I think I can add ornamentation to them, but there's so many archways, it's just getting so busy. Yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll create, um, I'll create like archways and stuff. Like I'll make, maybe I'll make it like it's meant to be a solid wall, but there's heaps of bits blasted out of it. And then that's how the windows and access points can be. But for now, I'm just going to carve the solid wall, and then I'll basically knock holes in it when it's um, a bit closer to assemble. Geez, that was a huge step up in stone size. This is the big one, guys. Once we break the back of this, the build is, like, well over halfway finished. I need some sort of blade tool with like 12 blades so that I can like just go <laughs> That'd be so good. Alright. Yeah, please do. Or post it on our um our Zorbazort Facebook page. That works too. Uh, actually no, I'll cut these I'll cut these bricks first. I'm running out of room here. It's looking good. That is a lot of a lot of straight lines. Thanks, Caleb. Getting there. Chip, chip, chipping away. That's the secret. We're gonna have to lose like the kind of vibe of this shape. Let's see what I can. Just needs to make sure it doesn't feel like a curve. That definitely feels too much like a straight line. There we go. That's looking better. Still, obviously, lots to shape, but just working on getting this top portion's sort of rubble profile achieved. Let's get my foam in here. Once you roll off the edges, it does look quite cool. Sort of working out of sequence here, but I'm just trying to make sure this actually works while I'm still doing general shape stuff. But I guess I could just do brickwork from the top for a change. It's no big deal breaker. It doesn't really matter to me how the like brickworks line up with the other sides because obviously these would be like bricked, separate brick walls or whatever. I don't know. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, greetings to the Zorp, says Ble Bleach Orange. Just tuning in for some terrain goodness. I hope we get some High Elf armies after the Amazon series. Yeah, at some point, that would be pretty amazing. I wouldn't be... We're not expecting any Amazon stuff on tonight's big announcement. Um, but hopefully, hopefully at some point. I, thi I think if we ever want plastic warrior boxes again, 
Amazon is the only way that's going to happen. Because uh, that's the only way there's going to be enough of a, a cash injection for Plastic Warriors to get made. So, um, you know, and that could have a flow-on effect and mean that other parts of the range get updated. So, I, yeah, Amazon could be really positive for the game. We'll just have to wait and see if it happens. I don't think it'll happen yet. But we shall see. Oh, -ho, a tip for the tip, says Nate. Thank you, dude. Oh, man. Oh, we are dangerously closest. Happen to know any online sources for foam like the one you're using right now? Unfortunately not. I know, I know none. Um, no, oh, except for, uh, I don't know, has Jeremy launched his thing yet? Jeremy from Black Magic Craft is doing like a thing where he sells foam now. You can buy foam from him. Um, so I can't remember if his foamy business is, is up and running yet. So check with, uh, with Jez from Black Magic Craft. Mr. Jeremy himself. Uh, so that's looking good. This just needs a little bit of weathering back and forth. It's guitar time soon, says Feldo Might. Yeah, I deeply regret making that promise, as uh, I didn't think that we would get there. <laughs> I'll just end the stream really quickly. Yeah, I'm a foam mason. Hashtag foam mason. This is way out of sequence. I'm. I'm Finishing this whole tiny random top portion. I'm just, I'm really not buying this uh, current, um, this, this ruiny peak. So I'm trying to get all the detail in just this portion so that I can see whether or not it's actually going to work. Because I can, like, I look at it and I just see the um, shape that it was before, the diagonal line. So I'm just trying to find the pieces to break it up to make it really sell. Hashtag foam mason. <laughs> hashtag pie. I like that one. On board by hashtag pie. It's gonna be crazy, man. Two streams in one day. That'll be a first. Twelve. Oh, I guess it'll be across two days for you guys, but it's one day for me. Alright. I think that looks alright. I think that looks alright. We'll have a look at it in the context of all the other ruins. Maybe it looks silly. Uh, you guys can't see it when it's up there. I think I'll keep working on it once it's all in together. Uh, curry, uh, curry, um, curry chicken. Definitely my pie of choice. Oh, so good. All right, let's get to, let's get these in. I'm in a bricking mood. I'll do the hor the horries. Do the horries after this. Verties for now. So many lines. Potatoes, says Maxi. Boil the mash, stick a minute stew. This always old potatoes rap. Only Larissa will understand that reference, and she's not watching, so that's fine. I'm okay with it. Mince and Kumara. Oh wow, that sounds interesting. I don't think I've ever heard of that before. Where are you from, Caleb? Where is mince and kumara a common pie? Lots of these little bricks through the middle. It's kind of cool. I like how the brick size randomly changes. Makes it interesting. Oh, kumara is sweet potato. Yeah, right, right, right. Chocolate pie, cherry... <laughs> We're talking about different pies here, Ross. And that's a whole other type of pie. But they are, they are good. So many bricks. Too many bricks. It's quite tricky to get the bricks to sort of tessellate nicely when they are changing in size so much. I wonder how the camera's doing. We must be surely about to lose another battery. What do you mean you don't put whipped cream on your meat pie? James, you're doing it wrong, mate. You animal.
I used your um, 3D printing footage again recently. It's uh, the the next Imperial Palace video that comes out. Oh, actually, I think it I think it was even in the last Imperial Palace video too. We saw your hands taking 3D prints off the build plate for me. So many bricks. Okay, I'm gonna check the um, I'm going to check the battery while I'm thinking about it. Oh my god. Alrighty, we Oh my god, battery's nearly dead. Battery's nearly dead. Yes! What a good call! Uh, can I change the battery before it dies? We're running on fumes here, folks. Yes, look at that! Okay. Nailed it. You can get savoury pies here too, but most are dessert types. That's interesting. Where are you from, Ross? Alrighty, go. Let's get a bit more of this brickage finished off. Try and make the bricks a bit bigger now the size is increasing. Guess I should probably do the um, straight lines on the other side before I begin any impression work. Look at that. Oh, how boring. Some side needs to go. Uh, a Georgia. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, America has like some interesting sort of uh, like pie and food differences between um, other places, I've noticed. What are we listening to, says Rumi Spentanas? I have no idea. Just uh, open source music that I used to use for the stream years ago that I've never updated for the stream folder. It's not the stuff I use now in videos. I think it's just, it's probably Kevin McLeod, a composer who does lots of public domain stuff. Um, the music I could find that was free when I set the channel up a long time ago. Oh. Greetings from the other side of the world. Kiwis eat approximately 66 million pies per year. That is a lot of pies. What's the, what's the population now? It's like 6 million over there? I can't remember. Soon I will be saying, is it 6 million here? Very soon. It is terrifyingly close. Exciting, obviously, but oh man, there's a lot to do. There is a lot to do. So much to do. I made a list yesterday. I was walking the girls around on a ducky walk and they were both asleep in the pram. And I made a list of every video that must be filmed before I leave. In Before, before we move in November. And it was like... Uh, I don't know, 40 videos, I think? And I was like, hmm... This is a problem. This is an unrealistic number. No, I'll have to use a ruler, it's too wide. We already have an amazing uh, Middle Earth New Zealand captain. Mr. George Costello! So I don't think George is in the chat right now, he was before. He is a, a great captain the Middle Earth scene. What is happening here? Oh, this is, this is wonky as. Okay, that's getting a bit better. Yeah, 
it'd be so good to get back to the Middle Earth scene in terms of gaming. I haven't been gaming for so long. I've talked about this a fair bit in the, the army vlog videos on this on the second channel. It's just so little time for tournaments um, and gaming unless I can make it work justified. But when I'm in New Zealand, I can make it work justified because I can use it to travel to filming locations at the same time so I can make a video out of going to the tournament whereas I can't just go to a tournament for the sake of going socially I just don't have time with like the kids being so young and working big weeks oh my god oh. I'm getting the foam carving back this is fierce Oh, my phone's not dead, but near. Man, I think I think we're gonna get to pie time before we get to uh, before we get to uh, super chat goal. You guys want that guitar to come out? I mean, you probably don't. Everyone's probably like, "Don't super chat," otherwise he goes and gets the guitar and, and stops making scenery. Probably a large portion of the chat that will be quite frustrated. Maybe I should... Oh, you know what I should do? Maybe I should save it for the, um... The big reveal. We can, uh... Ollie and I can, uh... Do a whole musical number. Ollie's a singer boy as well. Bust out the guitars. Maybe we get Kira on. She's been practicing Middle Earth... On, Middle Earth songs on the... Uh, on a recorder. Oh, this is happening. Oh, man. That sounds amazing. Southern Germany... Oh, okay. That, that had a sad ending, Ross. That's that's rough. Sorry, mate. How far are we up on the guitar? We are $3.40 away from the guitar. We're on like 96 for Super Chat. But now I'm thinking we should make it, uh, see Harry, extra special and do it this evening with Ollie. We can, we can resume the goal at three dollars. <laughs> or we make a new super check goal. Oh, that's cheating, Caleb! Three dollars forty-nine. Did I count right? Oh no, I didn't. Oh no, that's because you did New Zealand three dollars forty-nine. It's, it's in US dollars. <laughs> oh, it's all right. It's all right. Contrasting hobby is coming strong with a fierce five to take us over the line. What are we up to? 102.23. Yes, Kiwis. We know about the exchange rate problems. Listen to me, we. Just, just ingratiating myself. I can still claim commonality with the exchange rate pain, though. In terms of, in, in our particular hobby context, I, I mean, of course. Alright, I'll, I'll let you guys, I'll let you guys decide. Do I stop crafting now and, and get the guitar out to complete the super chat? Or do we uh, do an extra special musical number with, uh, on the, on the big stream tonight? I'm happy for either. Alright, let's just get these last, oh, look at that. <laughs> I need a pie in order to do a squad cobbler. Oh man, yes. I will definitely be buying a pie. Thank you, Contrasting Hobby. It is, it is happening. Let's get these verticals. Extra special for sure, says Caleb. Ollie's gonna be like, wait, 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 wait. What if, what if you signed me up? I didn't get any of these super chats. <laughs> let's, uh, let's, let's do all our little, um, our little verties. I'll see if I can get through this piece and then I think it's going to be pie time. Maybe not. Once I slide this in, maybe I'll get like a huge momentum boost. Because I'll like see it all together and I'll be like, MUST KEEP BUILDING! We'll see what the scenery... See how it speaks to me. Oh, this side's much softer. This has been cut by the hot wire cutter. So, um, it's like exposed. It, it's like missing the outer surface which sometimes can develop on the extrusion of the um, polystyrene. It's a little softer to cut. It also makes it easier to imprint with foam texture. Yeah, it, it's still fine. I don't usually like bother 
try to deface the, the the other side. Still 150 watching. Wow, guys, powering on through. We've lost a lot of the the UK and the uh, except those brave enough to stay up late for us. I shall give you guys a verse, though, for those excellent super chats. Alright. Where is it? Contrasting Hobby and Caleb, I'll give you guys a, a, a teaser for tonight. Oh, look, this even has the script <laughs> of the uh, of the Grimbold meme review. Man, that's what we should do tonight, is just, like, after the, after the announcement stream, just get all the Grimbold memes out again. <laughs> We heard the horns in their heels ringing, the swords shining in the south. Steeds went striding, war was kindled. Grimbold fell in the Pelennor fields. Doughty Grimbold fought and fell down in a far country in the mounds of Moodenburg under mold they lie but not with his horse upon foot he would die <laughs> so hard not to laugh while I read that all these little memes ah uh, good times we should do a yearly Grimbold meme stream until Grimbold gets his justice and gets a horse I think it will never happen these days. I wonder if um, there's probably a large portion of this chat who have no idea what that song is even referring to or who Grimbold even is, as there's probably quite a few scenery viewers watching. Uh, so some background on that little moment and the super chat memes. Um, Grimbold is a Rohan profile um, who just inexplicably doesn't have access to a horse, you know, in the horse lord faction where everyone can take horses. Except Harmer, actually. Where's Harmer's horse? Justice for Harmer, it's the second campaign. I don't think Harmer can take a horse. But anyway, so I've always had a huge sook about the fact that Grimbold can't get a horse, and, and that all kind of came to a big head oh, nearly two years ago now. Maybe not that far. And we, we, we did this, we started making all these memes about Grimbold not being able to get horses on, on our Facebook community group, and then we decided to do a Grimbold meme review stream, and I made a song about Grimbold not ever having a horse, and people converted models with Grimbold not having a horse. Actually, there's one of them over here. Uh, I don't have all of it, because the Grimbold is packed away in my army case. Hang on, check this out. Ugh. <laughs> this is from um, Damien, GBHL Damien, and it's Grimbold's dead horse, and then Grimbold goes here, and he's run over, and he says, what have you done to my horse, Lucky? Because I'm beating a dead horse. And then there was, uh, he converted up a model of Ruffian with a whip and painted it up to be me. It had, like, Vegemite on its belt and, uh, and the thing. Uh, they're both in my display cabinet, so which is not right here, so I, I can't show you the full diorama. But it was a whole thing, and um, we had people converting up Grimbold mounted and all sorts of all great memes. But Grimbold uh, was getting a game. Not recently, but that's how long ago he's been in my army case. I took Grimbold to a, a, a friendly at a, at a gaming store. So that is what on earth that song is about for those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about. Smash the bottles and burn the corks. <laughs> oh, boring. Go away. Spare me, people. Luck. Did that work? I think that worked. Oh, what? Harmer can take a horse? He doesn't even have a model for that. There you go. That's pretty wacky. Okay, ju justice for Harmer not required. Just justice for Grimbold. <laughs> so catchy, it gets stuck in my head all the time. So widening these grout lines with the pencil. Sitting in this chair with a falling posture. 
really want to get all these bricks done so I can uh, just slot it in and see what it looks like with three sides completed. This is the big one. sort of see, I don't know if it shows them on camera, but like the difference in quality of the texture of the uh, of the foam. This uh, sh sort of shinier side versus that side that's been through the hot wire cutter. Reckon you could get the grab guy to do... Reckon you could get the grab guy to do that for terrain builds. Who's the grab guy? This is the best bit, says Caleb. It is so fun, like, seeing all the bricks just appear. Bricks, bricks, bricks. Bricks for days! Who's planning on joining us this evening for our big, uh, reveal stream? It is going to be so much fun. I'm very excited for it. I gotta like work out how to like get Twitch and uh, get Ollie and Ben and that all working in the windows so I can see everyone. I'll be using different streaming software again. It's gonna be exciting. Hopefully if I'm awake, says Ryan, Sam will be there. Oh, right. Oh, it's a, a WA thing. It's a very loud ad where they're basically someone yelling the grout guy while they grout a bathroom. Oh, okay. <laughs> I do not know it. Although I also don't watch television at all. Like, live TV. It's just, like, not even a thing in our household. So we don't really see ads. Oh, my goodness. I'll be on and off. Oh, man. <laughs> James says he's got a colonoscopy tomorrow morning, so he'll be back and forth to the bathroom extensively. I've been there, dude. It's not fun. Oh my god, my stomach is eating itself. Pies required. Pies required. If I wait too long, there won't have any left. It's already 11. Look at all the bricks coming to life. Quite, I, this is the first one we've really seen a big mix of brick sizes. It looks quite interesting. Now we don't have to worry about the side pieces on any of these. We can go straight to just the backs. to depress that with foam to get that kind of operating nicely. It can actually be trickier to, uh, because it's softer on this side, as what I was talking about before, sometimes your pencil can slip a little bit. Good, looking good. Oh, jeez, that's rough, Jimmy. Um, hello, hello. Hi. You alright? I'm alive. You're alive. Well, that's good. I'm just checking I'm good. How oh, great is James? Crunching away. We're, we're building this tower today. This person's in here. And he's the one who goes in there. Tall on me. Only that tall. <laughs> uh, that big. I don't know, meter, meter and a bit. 
Uh-huh. But it all packs down into parts. And it's staying here? It's staying here, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, and Larissa's like, good, I don't want to see that anymore. No. <laughs> it's too big. Just like, it'll be fun to try and ship. Yeah, it'll be all packed down into, um, special travel cases made from pine and MDF and How foam. How do you do that? Is it, like, pre-marked? Yeah, so I've cut, yeah. cut it all, and now I'm just widening the grout lines with the yeah. pencil. Yeah. I am rather. Mm. What's wrong? It's not here nor there. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> we uh, they made they've been making me sing. Every time they super chat I have to sing a verse of that Whoa, what is that? It looks delicious. Oh, it's alright, it's just those bars things. Yeah, it's a date. I had to print off the lyrics. Every time someone super chats I have to sing a stanza. Of your of your weird song? Yeah, of the Grimbon song. <laughs> And then if we, if we got to $100, I had to get out the guitar and play it, which did happen, but they have voted that instead of me doing it now, it has to happen this evening and Ollie has to do a musical accompaniment. <laughs> Does Ollie know about it? No, Ollie, Ollie, is, Ollie is not giving his consent, no. Interesting. Yes. Interesting. Yes, he'll be thrilled, I'm sure. Because he's getting so much out of this, are you going to share your super chat money with him? No, no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll pay him in exposure. He's coming on my channel. <laughs> um, where's the midi doody do ya? No. Lar Larissa muted me to ask how long until pies. <laughs> she didn't want to ask it on stream. I don't want pies. Oh, you don't want pies? No. Burgers and fries. I never agreed to this. I've been talking about pies on the stream all morning. I'll do. I'll get both. From where? Where do you want burgers and fries from? No, nope, she's gone. She's been wrangled by the children. I'm sorry, chap, but you'll never get to find out where she wants her burgers and pies from. All right. Burger pies. <laughs> Greetings, Berkey. Welcome to the stream. Must be late where you are in Germany. Past midnight, wouldn't it? Yeah, it must be like 2 or 3 in the morning. Central Europe. My god, I deeply regret all the small bricks because it's just like so much more to fine detail with the depression. Alright, after, uh, after I get this guy all finished, I'll stick it on. And we'll, I'll put it up with the rest of the castle and we'll have a look. And we'll get to have a look at sort of what everything looks like together. Now it's, it's more important that I get really nice fine detailing on the um, front side, obviously. So it's going to be seen a lot more. Oh, I'm ready to go back to bed. Damn children. Not sleeping. Fuel. It's because it's I've had no food. More fuel. Mark, he's back! He's picked up the girls. 3 a.m. in Spain, says Khan. Rough. Put the pie in the burger. <laughs> 3 a.m., says Lonsolori. Lolonatori, Lon even. I can't read today. My eyes are getting pretty tired from all the carving. Short bursts is the way. Massive long streams is not. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Make sure you guys set reminders for tonight's stream. It's going to be here on the main channel again. Which I may regret, we'll see. But maybe you should be doing it on the second channel. I think most people don't normally know about like the streams and stuff, so not looking for it now on the main channel, but... Um, We'll see. But it's happening on the main channel because I already scheduled it. <laughs> so hit that um, like add reminder button and then you'll get an extra little reminder. And that way you won't miss all the, the Middle Earth goss. Big news coming out tonight we suspect. I haven't had a hyped marketing campaign like this for a long time. Okay, that's looking good. Let's get some, let's get some foil down.
Um, no, you can't do super chats on the second channel. Uh, it's it's too small, I think. Uh, yeah, it, I, I, I'm pretty sure that's what it is, Connor. The War Lord himself. <laughs> that's such a baller last name for for orc loving. So I guess that is the benefit of the um, the, the main stream is people can super chat. But it was just, I just needed to get their streams off the main channel. I can really only do um, streams that are scenery related, and then tonight's sort of like a one-off special event. So that's why we have the second channel. Because otherwise the streams kind of like ruin the metrics on the main channel and all the videos stop performing. It was a whole ordeal of like two years ago. Uh, are you talking about this thing? This is just scrunched up aluminium foil, uh, the Lonatory. Say, the nice thing about streaming is that I don't have to um, uh, like film as I'm going because it's just streaming. Like normally when I'm working, it's just like set the camera, roll, you know, move the camera, roll, do a little bit, roll, time lapse the next bit. Now it's just like I've got the whole. It's obviously not as nicely shot because it's in streamer mode, but it's still uh, it's still cool. Oh, that was that was part of the problem. That looks better. This looks awesome. Look at this, guys. It's a little bit, a little bit too hot. It's easy to see. Yeah. Some nice stonework there. Obviously, I haven't textured the other side yet. Oh, this—that's uh, just a scalpel. That's just the um, back end of my scalpel. Just has a nice flat thing. So I've just this is just what I've always used. It's a disposable medical scalpel. Oh. Uh, Jordan Wade says, How did you get so good at building stuff like this? Uh, just doing it over and over again. Get in there and get stuck into it. Thanks for watching, Vose. See you next time. I I'm going to push through. I really wanted to go and stop then and go eat, but I think it will be nicer to come back and have this wall completely done. Will it? Oh, there's a lot to do on this side still. So. Who votes pie and who votes I push through? Because if I push through, I it, it's longer till you get to see it all added to the big board and do a big board show off. So who wants to see the big board now and then I'll go and get a pie? Who wants me to finish this interior wall first? Push, push, you monsters, I hate you all. The hobbit in me says pie, I've got one vote for pie! Always pie, says Bleach. There we go, there's some of my fellow hobbits. Push through until you reach a checkpoint. Yeah, I wouldn't have to lose all this progress, that would suck. It is the inside, so like we said before, this top section is quite exposed though, isn't it? There's not really a great deal. Yeah, like all of this is basically high visibility, except maybe this lower area. So it all has to be macro detailed. Can of course add detailing later, but it's harder once it's stuck together. Oh, oh, my hand is cramping so hard. I'm trying to speed mode this last section. I can show you guys the uh, big build before many of you not off to sleep. It's okay, we get there, we get there. Right change tool for a second just do this to the top half because my hand is getting sore The bane of crafting with foam. Alright, half is done. Some of the 
hunger's getting to me. I can feel the dizziness. Blood sugar dropping or rising, whichever way it happens when you don't eat, I can't remember. So close, so close. It's looking pretty good. Let's get our roller out. nice when you're sort of punching up the bricks and it, they like tear and get little cracks in them. Those look really nice. Boom! We are... yeah. Pretty much done. Kabam! Did it! Alright, so, let's go out wide. Oh god, 35. That was very wide. We'll slot this guy in. So this is what we have achieved today. Where's the camera? Oh, hang on. That's 16 mil? Good lord. Let me pull the tripod back a bit if I can. So you guys can actually see. There's a bit of space. So, this is what we did today. We did all of this top section. And all of these are now completely finished. There's these three sections left to go over here to sort of continue the rubbleization of that tower, which is awesome, I'll just drop him. I'm just gonna move this um, key light. And then over here, if I pan our camera over, this is of course our build. Sorry, I'll cross camera again. This is of course our mega build. Let's go up a little bit so you guys can see just a bit more. straight into the thing there, that's not very helpful. Okay, how's that look? All right, so there's our build. This is where our tower's going in. Da, 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 da. Tower will go in there like that. These little pieces go here. Should be another one of these somewhere. Yep, here it is. That connects that there. That's sort of that way. And so that's like the massive the massive tower. I wonder if I can turn this around for you guys. I might just clean up the bench live on stream so that I can pivot the whole the whole thing. Would you guys like to see the whole front of the thing like this? Um, oh, and this of course goes in here. That's why that looks a little bit silly. But that will go like that. Um, let me let me get these tools away. You guys can enjoy me and chat to me in the ch in the uh, the the pack up stage you don't normally see. And then I will, um, I'll do a map. Oh, I don't even want to put the tools away because I have to keep carving when I come back from lunch. I'll put them over here. Uh, let's get the hot wire cutter down. Just pop you underneath for now, Mr. Hot Wire Cutter. I'm sure I'll need you again. Those are those extra pieces we will need. Those are extra pieces we will need. They can just go over there. Get those out of here. And then I can do a huge pivot and you guys can see uh, the whole front and how it's kind of coming together. As it's been a while since many of you have seen it, I would say. Quite a while. Where is my cleaning brush? There it is. Let's get you guys in the bin. Alrighty, Roo. The moment of truth. Let's see if anything wobbles and falls off while I'm doing this. Okay, let's get this a bit further back. What's behind there? Something's getting squashed. No, we're good. <laughs> so that is our piece. So this tower here is what we've just been building, obviously. That all needs to be rubbleized. Though I need to work on the joins in here.
Uh, so all of these joins need a little bit of work. Um, and it's definitely, it's quite flat. It's just like a flat wall compared to everything else which is so detailed. So I might end up like putting another piece that like juts out there because that's, it's just so flat. The other side works quite well, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking that that's going to need something, which is okay because I actually have some spare pieces. Um, I have some spare of these, like these diagonal bits, so maybe one of those can jut out there. That could look quite nice. Here, I might, um, I might pick you guys up and give you a little look. Um, just give you guys a little thing. We'll go in. We'll go in 16. How's that look? Sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm hand holding this, so it's probably a little jittery. So this is sort of what it's up to at the moment. Uh, and then this is this is what we've been building today, that little tower there. You can see it comes all the way around. I've been working on the dungeon that's inside there on the lower level, because all, all of these pieces are, are removable, right? So we can get inside, and you can play up and down through these stairs, and sort of walk your way up here. I had to smash this apart to fit it in the car the other day, so that goes in there. But yeah, so you can run up there, there's heaps of stuff to do inside, and then you can come up this stairwell here. Oh god, you might not be able to hear me because I've moved my microphone. Sorry, I'm standing in front of the mic with my back to the mic. I forgot, I thought my mic was on my camera. Um, so this is a stairwell here, and then that's a stairwell there that goes down into the dungeon, I mean. Uh, so yeah, it should be, should be pretty baller when it's all happening. Uh, let's see. Whoop! Nail it. So there we go. That was our first scenery stream on the uh, the main channel in ages. Uh, so if you guys are enjoying the live streams, definitely let me know down in the comments. I know many people don't bother commenting on the live streams. It's all about the live chat, um, but it does help me know sort of later on. But thank you so much for um, joining me for the live chat or watching this back live. Uh, it's just really great to do the scenery streams because I'm often when I've got big mornings or big days of crafting, I'm doing this stuff anyway. So it's really fun to have you guys to keep me company and keep me working hard. Uh, so thank you so much for that. Um, the, day, the dark grey parts are all hard plastic. These are the Games Workshop scenery kits. So far I think I've used uh, 12, 15, somewhere in that vicinity, maybe 20. I might be up to 20 now, I can't remember. So that's all hard plastic. Look, these are all fully removable. Here, I can give you guys a close-up if you like. These are the GW scenery kits. Just lock that guy back in. Um, yeah, they are absolutely awesome. Uh, thank you. Yeah, I did. I got some good work done. Uh, where is the Ring of Power? Not how is the Ring of... Oh, yeah, nice. Ah, uh, oh, thank you, dude. It's like a 1K section. Yeah, it's pretty... It's getting pretty big now. So that will be basically as high as it goes, which is nice. We can sort of see the full height of this part. Uh, there is a, another three sections. Yeah, so it'll be four of these sections all in a row to make uh, three, a 12 by 4. Uh, which will be pretty massive. Alright, I am going to go and get some lunch, and I will see you guys tonight in just under 10 hours. 11 hours. 11 hours time from now, right here on the main channel again, there are some massive Middle Earth announcements coming out. So, uh, we're doing a live reaction stream, we'll have the Twitch stream in there so you guys can see that too. Um, and uh, we're going to get to sort of check out everything, and Ollie from Broadsword Wargaming and Ben from Benji's Hobbies is joining me. Uh, and the three of us are joining me, and the three of us are just going to be hanging out, geeking out, and freaking out. We'll do half an hour before the sh their stream kicks off with predictions and chat and catch up, and then uh, and then we'll be ready to to unload for the full hour, an hour long's worth of re releases. What can they possibly have that will take up an hour? Uh, it's got to be big, right? It's got to be big. All right, I will see you guys next. Well, later tonight. I'm just like next time. Literally, 11 hours. I'll see you in 11 hours. So. Um, Go in, it, the stream is public now, the next one, so add a little reminder if you want, and then it will bing you when we get on. Uh, Alright, thank you for hanging out, guys. It's time to go get some food. Bye!